Is Destiny a stochastic terrorist? Why not? Why like isn't he? Yes. We have to. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. That is exactly, wait, that is exactly what I said. You said, you, back, you said you white, redneck, hold on, 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 I'm not here to answer for a 15 second clip. If you want to go back and watch the video, it is painfully obvious what I'm talking about. My entire argument was that if the cops aren't going to show up, if nobody else is going to help you, if you want to defend your property, I believe you should have the right to do so. It wasn't about indiscriminately killing protesters. If you think that, you're either retarded or no, that's not what I'm saying. Clip. That's that is, not no, what I'm saying. That is exactly what you just said. We need some term to describe what it is. We don't like the term stochastic terrorism. No, I'm that's fine with it. But there has to be something in between. It doesn't matter. He's a f***ing aggressor. It absolutely that's matters. Topic two. Stochastic terrorism is an instigation of, of animosity directed to a specific person or group. It is often done by political or religious thought leaders in the media towards their enemies. The hate uh, that they generate is generalized, but as the violent rhetoric is repeated, it encourages others to act on it in unpredictable fashion. That gives the speaker plausible deniability. Does it count as a cast of terrorism to publicly spread hostile rhetoric uh, at a person accused, but not convicted, of a heinous crime? Does it matter if the accused may have committed a crime of hate themselves? Is spreading misinformation about a contentious event like the Rittenhouse trial, an example of creating a hostile environment where violence may erupt? Or is this the uh, normal combative rhetoric that is present during a controversial, publicly uh, politically charged moment? Um, and credit to our, uh, our friend Doobie for coming up with this interesting question. Yeah, uh, if you were here on Saturday, then you know where we're going with this. Um, but um, uh, uh, stochastic terrorism is a thing that we have to uh, deal with now in in general, people have been escalating uh, rhetoric to dangerous, dangerous, dangerous levels, right? Um, and honestly, it seems like in the hope to get someone to take an action. Now we've had uh, discussions, and this not just on this channel, I'm fucking every channel, about uh, the Rittenhouse trial, for instance, right? And not just that, but other uh, situa situations like this, where um, uh, the uh, rhetoric escalates and maybe we dehumanize people. Um, so is that... So cast of terrorism. So let's explore that bougie. Thank you so much for the five high tier on gifts ups, getting us to the next level. Thank you, thank you. And everyone else has been supporting. All right, um, I'm gonna go and um, uh, uh, opening statements for our guests. Help out the hype chain if you can. So bits and gift subs. All right, peace go. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the indulgence of the panel because I'm gonna tailor my comments mostly to uh, Destiny. Oh, and I think that, um, you know, by and large, I think Destiny is a good person. I think that he's very careful about his language. And I think that, you know, we agree on a lot, but he is absolutely at sea with his position. Um, now, we're having this topic in the context of him calling Vivian three things on the panel. He called Vivian a stochastic terrorist. He called Vivian a terrorist supporter. And he called Vivian a terrorist. Before we get into stochastic terrorism, I think it's important to talk to know what Destiny thinks about terrorism. Destiny says that terrorism is too ambiguous, too broad, too vague, too amorphous. But Destiny uses the word terrorist. We know that because Destiny called Vivian a terrorist. Now, he says that this was just a short form for stochastic terrorist, and I didn't have that context, and that he needs to be careful. I buy that, and I accept him at good faith that that is in indeed what he meant. But that means that he needs to be careful and more careful, because that's the same context and the same excuse that Vosh gives for using fascists. It's the heat of the moment, it's the heat of the panel, and that's why I get loose with my language. And so if that's the case, and I'll take it at face value that it is, uh, he needs to be more careful about that. But Destiny also doesn't matter if he didn't mean to call Viv a terrorist. He calls other people terrorists. By calling Viv a, a terrorist supporter, he implicitly called Michael Reinhold a terrorist. He calls Al-Qaeda uh, members terrorists. He calls Oklahoma City members terrorists. And he doesn't hesitate. But when I refer to January 6th and insurrectionists there, he hesitates. But why? What are the things that distinguish uh, those actions? And there certainly are things that distinguish those actions. But Destiny hasn't given definitional criteria to distinguish why uh, terrorism, when terrorism starts and when it ends. If the word is bad, if the word is too vague, then he needs to reflect on when it is that it's okay to use it. When is it an easy case for which it, it makes sense uh, to use terrorism? And when is it being used too vaguely and it's just trying to reflect the political proclivities of the speaker? Destiny says that the terrorism is too broad. And how can you apply the same word to um, people in Al-Qaeda and to the insurrectionists of January 6th? 
excuse me, how can you apply the same label of stochastic terrorist to Trump as you can apply to Vivian? I'm assuming that something about this term stochastic terrorism has to do with your proclivity or your likelihood to induce others to commit violence. And so are you really saying on the same level, Trump and Vivian are stochastic terrorists? And if so, your criticism drops with respect to this massive gulf between the magnitude of the harms caused by either form of terrorist. Destiny, when asked what is his definition for stochastic terrorism, he says something loosely like advocating violence. Well, Trump didn't really do that explicitly, and, and Vivian qualified everything, and it would seem to sweep in Destiny into the very thing that he's accusing others of. Because I'm sorry to say, Destiny did make a comment about uh, dipshit pro protesters. We all know that comment. He says he distinguishes it because it was justified violence in that case. Well, I'm sorry, every terrorist thinks that their violence is justified. Well, you can't just, also you can't distinguish it by virtue of it being legal because what Destiny is offering is not legal. It's not legal to use deadly self-defense by and large in this country just for defensive property. So I'm sorry, um, if you're gonna accuse the regular label of terrorism, terrorism of being too broad and too vague, this stochastic terrorism uh, definition, I mean, it's just the vaguest thing I can think of. I want to know some definitional criteria that Destiny uses for this for this term and why Vivian is being swept, swept into the same thing that we're calling Trump for. In summary, Destiny uses the word terrorism, but he, he hesitates when it's being applied to certain uh, groups and he doesn't provide definitional criteria for terrorism or stochastic terrorism and he needs to justify himself and everyone should should have a thought about that. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. Um, and that hype train is still going on. Um, you know, uh, sub, give bits, give subs, help us out. That's how we do make this happen if you're enjoying this content. All right, Fanatic, please, opening statement. All right, and any second yeah. now. He's... Yeah, man, uh, I, I think I, I don't like like super duper nebulous terms. And I think um, stochastic terrorism is one such thing, right? Because who we're going to view as a terrorist is going to largely depend on like who like uh, how much we agree with like their positions or whatever. Right. Like um, if if you, for example, the United States for to some people would be terroristic. Right. Like with some of the things that we've done, like in the Philippines and other places. Right. But like clearly most Americans wouldn't identify it that way. Um, for some people, Kyle Rittenhouse is a terrorist, right? But then there's plenty of people like Destiny who wouldn't view Kyle Rittenhouse as a terrorist. So this term almost means little to nothing. I don't know why we'd start, why we would even use it because it's gonna, it, there's so much plausible deniability baked into the term itself that it, it means close to nothing. Final points. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm literally using Google. Terrorism, the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. Um, I don't know what was said on Saturday, but I know that Vivian has talked about uh, extrajudicial violence against uh, people for political reasons. I know that she's talked about, um, you know, basically people compiling lists of uh, known nefarious actors. And I would see that as extrajudicial advocation of violence and intimidation against civilians for political aims. Now, the question is whether or not these things are good. Um, obviously, you can enact violence for principles that you believe in, but that that's kind of like where definitionally, I, I think we do get into a certain weird amount of uh, water because if uh, compiling docs lists and sending death threats or uh, pipe bombing uh, Humvees in the name of like environmentalism. Um, if that's terrorism, then it's also, you know, terrorism to chop off people's heads and commit suicide bombing. So there's obviously like a wide spectrum of violence that falls under the label terrorism. Um, I think that uh, the, the conversation for why terrorism is so nebulous and poorly used is uh, related to Phil Gursky, somebody that I've talked to, uh, basically said that like, you know, homicide is homicide. Murder is murder. Um, so basically by, by using this term, this very loaded term and allowing it to be used in our public parlance so, so often, we're opening up a Pandora's box where we can just label anybody a terrorist for any amount of advocacy or violence that crosses some social threshold. And that's the danger of it. So for me, I have no problems with the use of the word, but I think we need to be specific. And while we're being specific, we probably shouldn't be wrestling over the definition. We should just agree that there's a spectrum of violence that falls under this label and then say, like, I believe this person on a zero to 10 between ISIS and uh, people who pour sugar in the gasoline of high, you know, high gasoline vehicles. I think this person is a 1.5 and then we can kind of have a conversation from there, but I'll leave it there. And I'm looking forward to the open. I'm sure it will be super mild. Oh boy. Uh, Destiny, lots of things been said about you. <laughs> um, uh, I didn't take notes for that opening that. I know we were, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I was on defense right here. 
Um, so I like the term stochastic terrorism because I think that there needs to be a way to describe calls to violence that aren't direct calls to violence. So uh, given some time to expand my actual definition of stochastic terrorism, which I think aligns with how I've seen other people define it, stochastic terrorism is essentially you are publicly presenting a universe where the only option left is violent options. That's it. Violent action is the only, all, all, uh, the only way to rectify or, or remedy like given situation. So good examples, I think, are um, when you have people saying things like, foreign immigrants are invaders into your country, your politicians are all bought out and nobody's going to stop them, and they're going to come in and take over and ruin your way of life if nobody stops them. Like, I think that you're creating a situation, um, like, politically or you're creating this air of this idea that the only way to stop these people is through violent action. Therefore, when you constantly engage in this type of rhetoric and somebody acts, you can't just kind of like wring your hands and be like, oh, well, you know, who could have guessed, you know, um, much. And then as a second example, I would say somebody like Donald Trump absolutely engages in this. When you say things like your electoral system has been hijacked, uh, Pence isn't helping you, Congress isn't helping you, nobody's helping you, all the intelligence agencies, everybody's fucked. If somebody ends up doing a violent action, like say invading the fucking Capitol building on January January 6th, I would argue that like you have engaged in a form as Donald Trump of stochastic terrorism. You're, you're fermenting a situation where the only possible way to remedy it is through some violent action. Now, um, to get a little bit more personal, I think Pisco will try to attack me um, because of my uh, reluctance to use terrorist as like an actual label. Um, I will admit that if I'm like engaged in a conversation and someone's like, oh, are you familiar with like the terrorist organization ISIS? I'm probably just gonna be like, yeah, of course. Or yeah, I know. Like, yeah, these terrorists, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, like on a broader level, should I stop and say every time? Well, I don't know if I would call them a terrorist organization, but yeah, maybe sure. I could acknowledge that. Um, the, the thing that I like the most about the, st the stochastic terrorism definition, though, is just what it defines, not the idea that it is giving me a closer definition of terrorism. Like we could call this like stochastic incitement to violence or stochastic something else. And I would be just as okay with the term. It just seems like stochastic terrorism is what we ended up going along with. Um, terrorism is an incredibly nebulous thing. Every state has a different definition of it. Nation states have different definitions of it for a variety of reasons. It doesn't mean the same thing to any group of people. People that aren't terrorists, like the Mujahideen that was supported, um, the past Carter's administration can become fucking, um, can become um, non, or can become terrorists when they do things that we don't like. Some people consider the US a terrorist nation. Like it's just, it's the, the whole idea of like the word is just so silly to me. I, I just don't like it. I don't think it gets us anywhere. And uh, yeah, there you go. Lucas. Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to thank um, Pisco for reminding me why I don't want to be a lawyer because that was so boring to listen to. But um, uh, yeah, um, stochastic terrorism. Uh, it's such a broad term that um, it, it encompasses a lot of things i wasn't sure that this was i didn't know this was going to become the trial of destiny by pisco uh so i mean if i knew that i would have watched all of the things that pisco um accused destiny of so i could you know be in a you know um follow along the conversation um you know some of us have a life outside of twitch so um the idea that um um, Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse is being accused of things that he didn't do or hasn't been proven that he did. Uh, he went there, you know, to to whatever reason he went to, but the reason that he showed those people was in, in defense of property. And the fact that the media is, uh, you know, pr pro promote, promoting a narrative that says that he did th those things in purpose, it, it, I think it, it, it definitely would fall in the category of. Um, Jesus Christ, I can't say that word. Stochastic terrorism. Uh, yeah. Uh, baby and Nico next. Or oh, Scott, excuse me. Yeah, so in the interest of not clout chasing, I will tailor my portion of this discussion to everyone but Destiny. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think first thing we need to look at is, obviously, I, I'm kind of of two minds of this issue, right? I'm honestly kind of somewhere in between because obviously someone like Vivian that like will literally put you on her list of reactionaries and advocates for violence regularly um, is, is a problem, right? And if she was a right winger, she'd be banned off of every platform instantaneously. Um, but at the same, and, and we could say the same thing about, you know, some of the rhetoric that uh, our right wing politicians like Trump have, have, have gone in, right? So, I mean, obviously there's kind of an issue here and so when I think about the issue, I, I honestly don't think the issue is that we should create a new label, right? Um, for people who are, you know, kind of advocating violence and advocating political beliefs or advocating like really negative or derogatory or dehumanizing things. 
um, but they're not direct calls for violence or action, right? You know, I'm not saying like, you know, shoot this guy at 2 p.m. on this street corner, that's where he goes and gets his coffee, right? I'm just saying like, you know, Republicans are evil and we hate them or, you know, Democrats are evil, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think the bigger issue here that, that really kind of goes tangential to this question is the fact that our, our journalistic ethics have gone away. Right. Like it used to be a thing and it's still a thing if you go to like a, if you take like a mass communications class in college that like you're supposed to have two unnamed sources and then someone that's going to go on the record. Right. Like that shit just disappeared with corporate press kind of getting money from this political balkanization of, of the American population. And so I'm not so sure that the issue per se are these people that we're trying to label with this kind of like newer definition of terrorism, this more, you know, this this probability based terrorism, but more so the fact that we don't have good information out there. I think this is more a problem of social media and a lack of journalistic ethics to where when people hear wild, crazy shit, they can't just go and look up a, a news article and like just get get the good details and realize like maybe that's crazy because of this reason and this reason and this reason. Right. So I, I think that there's kind of a, a parallel conversation to be had here. And um, yeah, I don't care about Vivian's just trash. All right. Um, Vivian's a wonderful human being. I love her so much. Um, shout out to you, McSween and Wolf. All right. Um, let's go to uh, Gappy V. Wow. OK, um, I guess in re in regards to the the the. I don't know, our destiny effort post that was made uh, by Pisco. Um, I think um, we're kind of getting a bit too hung up over the issue of like, I think destiny using the word terrorism is what's really getting at it. And I think we had this talk a couple of days ago when we were talking about the federal rules of evidence. When we look at the federal rules of evidence 704 and 704A, just because somebody uses the term terrorism or negligence, for example, just because they use that word doesn't mean they're literally embracing it as this person is literally like ISIS or something like that. I think we're focusing a bit too much on the fact that the word terrorism was used and not the overall context of that opinion or that lay opinion as stochastic terrorism, right? It's not, I don't think he's going to be alleging, and I'm not sure what happened with this Vivian conversation, but I'm, I, I doubt he's going to be alleging that Vivian's literally trying to create like the next ISIS or whatever. Um, but in terms of the actual stochastic terrorism definition, uh, getting back to the actual topic rather than what was going on earlier, um, I think stochastic terrorism is a totally a fine definition. You know, if people are trying to indirectly advocate for violence, we should have a way to be able to call them out for that. And I think when we use that definition, we have to understand that there are extents, right? It's not just, oh, so you literally just called him a terrorist. What the fuck, dude? It's about whether or not the extent is really fucking egregious, right? Because I think there's a huge difference between somebody retweeting, oh, the Rittenhouse judge is using some ringtone that sounds like it might potentially be from a Trump uh, rally versus someone saying something a lot worse about like, oh, who's going to be getting the wall or who's going to be doing this non-TOS friendly thing to our parents one day. I think there's a huge world apart there. And I think being able to use that term of statistic terrorism in the context of defining an extent to which somebody's advocating for violence is really important. And I don't think we should be getting hung up over whether one individual used the word stochastic terrorism on one individual when somebody else like Donald Trump is probably using stochastic terrorism to a far, far worse extent. Hey, last but not least, our Dark Lord and Savior, Doobie. Um, okay, so I've been thinking about this since the, the other night, actually. And um, what I've kind of concluded is that I think, I think Twitch is full of mentally unstable people who ingest the opinions of charismatic demagogues through like eight-hour streams and then go around and watch other charismatic demagogues react to the latest round of blood sports and relationship drama involving people they've developed like parasocial relationships with. So if we're going to buy the common lefty position that someone like Lauren Southern or Stefan Molyneux can be held responsible for Christchurch because a shooter might have heard uh, like a great replace replacement video at some point, shouldn't we also believe that Destiny can be held responsible for vigilante justice against rioters if we find that the perpetrators have watched the streams at some point? If Vosh gets done demonizing conservatives for the day, and raids Prime, and Prime is platforming an insane anarchist who dehumanizes and advocates ad advocates for the uh, violent suppression of their opposition all the fucking time, right? Uh, shouldn't we, aren't they both like at some level responsible if one of the hundreds or thousands of people watching um, goes out and acts on the recommendation someday? Uh, shouldn't we believe that people like Hassan, who say that Rittenhouse was always going to get off because he's white, or that Jacob Blake was unjustifiably shot in the back by racist cops? Uh, couldn't they also be held responsible 
uh, for Rice that might happen of uh, if Rittenhouse gets off without a homicide charge. Uh, what about Fanatic's uh, tacit endorsement of violence against uh, white people who say the N-word? Or Connor's tacit endorsement of police goon squads that rough up people who resist resat, uh, arrest? Should any of us be platformed? Like, what's the fucking line here? I think that if we're going to say that these people are guilty of some kind of like sarcastic terrorism or some kind of like uh, in, in, uh, incitement to violence for these kind of statements, then hey, if that's the line we're drawing, then I, I don't think there's a good a good case to be made for most of us to be on this platform. Yeah, Gappy and Destiny have a problem yeah, with yeah, terrorism yeah. and not stochastic terrorism. What Doobie just gave you the point. What mm -hmm. could be more nebulous than the word that engulfs Hassan, a word that engulfs potentially Destiny? Because I haven't seen how that uh, he's distinguishing now his own comments from Vivian's comments. What is the definitional criteria for stochastic terrorism? Should there be a definitional criteria for stochastic terrorism? And why does it apply to Vivian? And not I mean, I, I would destiny. defend I would defend the comments that I made earlier that when you've like facilitated or when you've created a situation, not in where, relation to other to, to like common examples or to Lauren Southern as an abstract term. How do I know? How do I fight you on Vivian's uh, label of a stochastic terrorism? On, how would you without so a how without, you not without reference you to how great of a speech Doobie gave like. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 you say with, without, without reference without to reference what she said? Without reference to an example or without reference to, uh, Doobie made reference to Lauren Southern's comments and, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the definition in relation to others, but in abstract terms. Okay, so my question would be like, what does it look, mean? yeah, so if I were to look at the totality of Vivian's messaging, is Vivian essentially saying that there is no way to remedy a current situation or current set of problems beyond violent action? That's my question. Then you, mis then you misunderstood Vivian's point. Because either you're referencing the fact that she's spreading misinformation, and if that's enough to be called a stochastic terrorist, then I don't know. And most of the country is responsible for stochastic terrorism. So I'm assuming it's not the fact that she's spreading misinformation. No, spreading I misinformation. Mean, I, I, mean, I could, but not. That, I, don't, I don't know if that on its own would do it. But the, my issue with Vivian wasn't that. My issue with Vivian is that... Um, she's advocating for violence in that specific situation in which well, uh, there are people no, come in and speak, yeah, right? So one was the idea that people that show up, that you have a right to, to basically force them out with the threat of murder, or murder eventually, to, to get, or killing, I should say, to be less loaded. That you're allowed to kill people, essentially, that come to protest to an area where you don't want them protesting, number one. And then number two, the undermining of our entire judicial system, saying that all of it is broken and fundamentally it won't work and you should never expect anything from it. So that was couched in the, the first part, right? The, the part about violence was mm -hmm. couched in qualifications and dependent upon a set of predicate facts, which are exceptional. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. They're exceptional. No. Do you think the Black Lives Matter protest was an exceptional protest? No, no. I, I don't believe that Vivian couched it. I think that she couched it the same way that ethno-nationalists couch it when they try to say like, I want to get rid of all black people in this country, but I don't want to do it violently. I just want to pay them. But when you run down that line, okay, well, what if they don't accept your payments? What if they don't want to leave the country? What, then eventually, like, okay, sure. Well, Fabian Scott right. engaged in I mean, Fabian Scott all but said he's advocating for violent revolution in the United States. So you think that he's engaged in stochastic terrorism? Yeah, for sure. I'd probably say that, yeah. What is this word you see that? When you're creating a when situation. When did I say I was arguing when for you're, violent revolution? When, 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 don't you're, when you're don't creating, you when, friendly shit you want to do? When you're creating a situation where the only you, option is violence, like, that's the only way that you can seriously enact whatever agenda that you think is like morally righteous and needs to be done. Yeah, I would argue that you're engaged in a form of How nebulous is this? I mean, this word is going to gather. Hold on, hold on. You can't just say nebulous and pretend that's an argument. If you want to claim that, my definition is pretty precise. If you want to push me on a specific example, that's fine. But I've given you a clear clear example we can we can test things against that example don't call it nebulous it's not nebulous oh. at all well then it's too inclusive it's over inclusive like, you're, like I argue your definition of terrorist was what do you mean how does this go you can't criticize me for my term for being too over inclusive if, and then provide an over inclusive term why do, yourself why, okay what am i us. give me an example hey, then of one yes, thing that can i'm can inclusive you, okay. Okay. i want to write down the definition can we, can we just get that so that word so that we can stop saying it's nebulous i want to have it sure so, i have i have that he says that when the it's only actually go ahead when the only possible, when your rhetoric is such that the only possible um, response of people is is violence, and in that, notice what is missing from that definition. There's no proclivity part of that definition where there's a likelihood or a tendency for your audience to be receptive to that message, for you to even have a platform for which to speak. If you said this privately, if, if I said this to you privately, Destiny, that I think that this is justified, do you think my private communication to you is stochastic terrorism? Yeah, we, can, we can argue that it's private wait, stochastic wait, terrorism. Wait, but I, I can, right, we can private even say- Private stochastic terrorism. Sure, but we can yeah. even- Hold on, wait, hold on. that definition? What? Do you agree with that definition? Yes. Okay. 
but but like I get we can even argue that if if you don't like the term because it sounds like you don't disagree that this is a thing that should exist in like have some way to address it. I disagree it as applied to Vivian. Sound, and I think there should it be. It just a sounds like you, you okay. But like let's say for instance that we're having a private conversation, a one on one private conversation, and you're telling me this is bullshit. I want to be a professional StarCraft three player. I can't because my mom and dad won't let me on the computer. And I say, listen, bro, they're not going to let you go to the library. They're not going to give you your laptop back if you want to do this. You have to fucking kill your mom and dad, right? In a video game. Because if you're I missing say two that, components. If I you're say missing that, two components. Okay, because well, terrorism. Okay. So you, you, yeah. can, you, can, you can try to expand this or say, oh, you're missing blah, 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 blah. But I, I'm giving you a clear example where you're saying, because initially, I'm, the reason I'm giving you this example is earlier you said, well, you're telling me that in a private one-on-one -on -one conversation, you call that stochastic terrorism? I just gave you an example of a private conversation where, yes, I would say that's stochastic terrorism. Sure. But, you, but, but nobody who understands, the, the core concept of terrorism applied across all definition is a broader, a broader ideological Objection. goal. Speculation. And, a broader ideological goal, a broader religious political motive that isn't present in your private violence example. Now, on the margin, yeah. that's going to be fuzzy, but there are clear on, cases. Is, of, you, you, there is no universally uh, agreed upon definition of terrorism. I understand I that. No, but, but, but the core to the concept of terrorism, I think everyone here would agree that there is some substantive ideological motive beyond mere private revenge or okay, mere no, 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 private okay, here's, 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 no, no, here's the thing. No, no, it's ideologically motivated. Hold, hold, even, yes, if, if, even, if I, even if I read motivated. off of the fucking FBI site, okay, it's violent criminal acts committed by individuals in our groups to further ideological goals stemming from domestic influences such as political, yeah. religious, this social... This is terrorism, not sarcastic terrorism. Hold on. I'm not done. Okay. okay. Political, religious, oh social, God. racial, or environmental. I could almost any possible fucking thing. No, you could. Under, no, you couldn't. Give me it's, an example not, of one. 100% so, uh, If I, I uh, run over someone because they had sex with my wife. Mm -hmm. Is that terrorism? Let's say that we went onto your laptop afterwards and we found out that you were posting on a whole bunch of incel forums. Does it become terrorism? There, it's fuzzy margins. Yeah, if you can understand. So this wait, is, this is going to be ridiculous. Wait, hold on. This is, wait, this this is, is no, entire process. I understand. You're just calling out destiny for fucking clout. No, 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 no. I I'm not. Okay, no, stop. I, stop. Wait, hold on. Piss off. Pisco. The yeah. only I'm reason not. you're doing this shit is so that people will react to Pisco. I don't care. I'm not. I don't have a. We're not. I don't have a. Can we not? I know my job. Isn't that my job? No, I actually am engaging with his conversation. Okay, hold on. Pisco. Pisco. Yeah, I pissed I mean, I, I, Wait, hold on. I just want to. I want to understand your position. So, yeah. uh, someone like Anwar, uh, what's his name? Anwar Al Laki, that this uh, dude who's making videos to to encourage people in the United States and in Europe to go out and and murder people at random, right? Um, like encouraging yeah. encouraging like jihadi violence. Yeah. Do you think that that person couldn't be held responsible for those people who went out and and, and did exactly what he was encouraging them to do? But the, what, what you're missing there and what's missing from the definition that Destiny gave are two concepts. Uh, before before I, I, I bring them up, I want to just address the, the elephant in the room of categories. Everything is fuzzy on the ends. Define a sandwich, right? Tell me what are the definitional criteria of a sandwich? You know, a coffee maker might not be a sandwich. That's a clear case of not being a okay. sandwich. And now when you start to get to a hot dog, it's less clear but about what a, is and what is not a, what's a, not, what's not a hot that's dog. That's okay, though, because those types of categories don't have moral weight or implication behind them. So I'm okay with sandwich being fuzzy. But when you want to bring up a new term and you want to call it terrorism, and you want to either, no, I'm not saying you're saying this, but for some people that want to have additional charges brought forth, or in your case, where you just want to have like a greater moral condemnation brought forth, well, now we actually need to define this a little bit more. The delineation becomes important when it's a moral issue and not just a category of what is like sure is way too over inclusive because you just it said is, it is too inclusive and it's really insane because destiny i didn't see you like ra raising up this like claim that we need to make sure that we're really really clear when they brought up rico charges against star kelly not that that nigga wasn't guilty not that he didn't deserve to do prison but we know what rico charges are and that seemed oh, like that wasn't the proper application there furthermore I, and, and, and furthermore what was he doing and, furthermore furthermore when you make the statement um that the uh your definition is when your rhetoric is such that the only possible remedy is violence can you point me to something that Vivian said that clearly denoted uh, that, that that clearly like the only possible remedy was violence because even when she's talking about how corrupt our judicial system is and how qualified. unfair it is, what well, all of those things you could easily say. So we need to do a lot. We need to make sure that we we have yep. higher vocal mo uh, um, uh, voting mobility in order to ensure that these kind of things can be done. No, away. that's we no, make that's sure bullshit. we don't reelect these judges. So I was that bullshit. Wait, 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 I don't I don't I don't know if you missed the stream. I don't know if you missed the stream off on Saturday, but this is not what we're talking. I watched the entire thing. So anyway, all I'm saying is there's nothing that you're saying. And unless Destiny can point me to something specifically where the only possible remedy is violence, then it sounds like this is an improper usage. So Destiny, the floor, you have the floor. 
What did oh she God, say specifically? So, uh, okay, I don't remember every word, but I'm going to say some things about Vivi's positions, and I don't think she would disagree with them, right? The issue is when you start to say what you said before, that these systems are broken, blah, 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 blah. If you were to go on and say things like, well, we should vote for different people, blah, 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 somebody like Vivian would say, no, voting doesn't do anything. No, you can't fix these institutionally. No, we need pressure from the outside. None of these things will be fixed with them because capitalism supports capitalism, power supports power. That's the issue at some point, and then that's why they get into eventually justifying things like riots against private property, because as they're saying, well, there was no other alternative alternative. Voting does nothing. It's worthless. It's a waste of time. When you've engaged in that line of rhetoric, then the only option left is violence. That's literally all there is left. In, in fact, I, 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 like, I have wait, a legitimate wait, wait, question. Wait, wait, no, stop, stop, like, no, stop, stop. In fact, she, she, was, she, was, she, was, she was explicitly endorsing violence. She was saying that if yes. someone, shows up, someone shows up in your town with a Blue Lives, Blue Lives Matter sticker, right, you should force them out of your town and that if they resist your force against them, you might need to kill them. Right, so so don't dance that's, around. This is exactly qualified. what she was saying. No, no. Say that. You're right. Qualified right. how? Right. Real question, real question, right, to the people yeah. that disagree with this, the usage of this term. What in the fuck do you call people who advocate for violence, right, who consistently dehumanize groups of people but do not but do not use direct or actionable violence, right? Yeah. That do not that do not specifically themselves go out and, and 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 commit the violence, or you can't prove that per se, right? I, I I wouldn't surprise me if that was happening, right, under some black block shit, right? But let's let's just say, right, that they're not actually committing the violence, but they're dehumanizing groups of people. They're calling for violence. They're saying violence is the only possible solution we have to this problem, right? But they're not giving you a specific date and time. What the what term would you use? I'm happy that? to answer that question. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm the, legitimately. The two concepts you're missing is one: there needs to be some statistical proclivity of that happening. We don't just call people who have no audience speaking to no one or speaking privately to someone who's not receptive to that message, stochastic terrorists. Right. We're talking about it from on Twitch. Let him finish. Oh, I'm, I'm, with an audience. <laughs> I'm showing you ways to distinguish. And then secondly, we need to reject uh, destination, Destiny's invitation to absurdity, which is that any call to private violence, even no matter how private, could somehow be considered uh, stochastic terrorism, no matter the okay, ideological. You're avoiding. You're avoiding. You're, you're avoiding. Know, you're avoiding no, you're avoiding you the, the keywords. Hold on. Ideological. No, no, hold on. No, you're no, you're avoiding. No, counter, 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 hug yourself. Counter, go paint your fucking barbies. Okay, piss cup. We're talking about people on Twitch on when on a platform in front of hundreds or thousands of people, not someone talking to their 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 friend in the corner somewhere, right? So these what people, what I'm, what I'm saying is you, the, the way you distinguish it is what I just said. So there's two things that you you look at the Twitch person, right? Is their audience such that they're super receptive? There's a danger here. Their message is such that it could be interpreted that way. You look at the quality, the, the likelihood the answer, that their answer all those things is yes. Okay, in this, you're, this you're specific scenario, the messy, answer is absolutely well, well, I think there are plenty of people guys, in the chat right fucking now who think that people with Blue Lives Matter stickers are Nazis. Right? I think you, you guys need to are resist insane. Nazis and violence. I think you guys are insane that you think that Vivian's comments, unless you want to say her attitude in the aggregate is one that would- Are you going to answer the fucking uh, question or are you just going to dodge? I'm answering the yeah. question. So, so no, she- you're hey, fucking not. He's going to dodge. really simple. It is. No, 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 no. Sorry, I am answering the question. Endorsement. That's the answer. Endorsement. Endorsement is the answer. It's not the answer. So, so it, proclivity, it proclivity is important here. And the likelihood of you, the tendency of your actions to cause others to commit that violence is important here. And so okay, give, says, give an arbitrary amount uh, of proclivity and then tell me what you would call it. Uh, no, no, there, there are clear cases and there are unclear cases. That, the same with any category. I'm in, wait, no, sorry, I'm answering the question on. So there's Vivian... one word answer. Is there a title? He's asking for a title. I don't care about all of the qualifications. I don't care how you get to the get to the title. What is the title? title. What That's do you mean the title? What, what, what title? I don't understand what you Shut mean. Shut the fuck up. What was, okay, what would you call someone like Anwar el who was making videos encouraging people to go on Twitch? No, you can't. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay. You're okay with the term. You, no, I never, okay, okay. Oh my God, shut up. Uh, everyone shut up. Great. All right, look. Uh, because he's going, he's going to explode. I'm going to let counterpoints in, and then Gappy. Don't worry. All right, we'll we'll Wait we'll get these answers out of people. Y'all about to make me fucking ableist again. Holy shit! So Pisco, very okay. It, uh, very specifically, it would not be stochastic because stochastic basically says that it's not direct. It, it, it's nebulous intentionally, so you can motivate an audience in order to. do What something. is not stochastic? It wouldn't. You oh, say it wouldn't with reference to what? Audio, 
poor Al Awaki would not be stochastic because he is making specific prescriptions in order to commit terrorism. Well, I mean, you just heard so that, Destiny because yeah. Destiny was talking about direct message where I, it was just, very explicit. I just, wanna, I just wanna speak for myself. I don't wanna speak for anybody okay. else, okay? Um, so, okay, so uh, Anwar Al Awaki would not be stochastic because he's being very specific with what he wants to do. When it comes to stochastic terrorism, I think, uh, as I acknowledge, there's a spectrum to fucking terrorism and fucking violence and all that kind of shit. The reason why I am comfortable saying that about Vivian, actually, I, I love Vivian. I, I like the fact that she owns her bullshit and she just fucking says it instead of fucking dodging left, right, and fucking center. One of the things that she said was that in the past, she's participated in anti-fascist fucking movements. They greeted people at the fucking train station. They got into a fucking scrap. They kicked their ass and they sent them home. And she thinks that it's appropriate to have non-state actors engaging in political violence in order to achieve a certain amount of ends. If I was to take the definition of terrorism, which is basically non-state actors very specifically engaging in violence towards specific, uh, political ends for civilians, the first word is met. And then for stochastic, where it's vague and nebulous and not intentional and specific, if that's also met, where it's a generalization about things, I understand that like Mix Vivian Wolf is not the same as fucking Anwar Alawaki, but at the same time, both words have been met. It's a question of spectrum and we have to be nuanced. If you don't want to see the state clamp down on people like Mix Vivian Wolf, I agree with you. I think there's, there's room in here for speech and opportunity and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things that I thought was kind of missing from your point was the fact that like intent doesn't necessarily matter if there isn't a result, if the intent still existed in the first place. And you were saying because a person has like stochastic violence in mind, but they don't achieve the goal, therefore they're admonished of the attempt. I don't agree with that at all. If they, they never said that. that violence, when okay, did I okay. ever say that? I never said that. No, you just said it. Just, to be clear, it. I, I don't I reject. Said. I don't reject the term stochastic terrorism. I'm uh -huh. rejecting your definitional criteria, which does not include some statistical likelihood or some greater ideological purpose. Those two things much must Why? be key. Otherwise, because we're way over inclusive. In a legal definition, Fabian. No. instead Fabian. of a colloquial no, expression. Fabian, as you see now, you just can't ask Peace Corps questions like that. He won't actually answer them. So I, I just the answered answer it. Is, the answer no, is to no, your you question, want, Fabian. The answer to your question is. The idea, the idea is for the people who are doing it directly. You just call them terrorists. I That's think the yeah. I think well, or, or rather than terrorists, I think Peace Coast. So okay. So hold on. Let me <laughs> turn the temperature down. Right. So Peace Coast's problem is it sounds like you're essentially saying that you can't really call this an indirect incitement to violence if the likelihood of any violence actually occurring isn't there. Zero. Right. But my problem then is, aren't no, we really just zero. basically copy pasting the definition then of incitement to violence? No, because the, the, the other component which you're missing from your definition is the same thing that's present in the terrorism definition. It's not just violence or crime. It's how it, even though there are edge cases, I submit to you, mixed motive cases, an ideological purpose there. That has to be present in all these definitions of terrorism. Some greater fundamental societal ideological purpose needs to be present there. And so not. Wait, okay, wait, so, yeah, can I just wait? Can I just, I just, want, to, I just want a really clear, really clear question. Yeah. Really, really, really clear question. You, by that definition, then, would you be comfortable saying that every single BLM riot was a terrorist riot? Because that was something. Are we talking stochastic a, terrorism? No, or, no, 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 no. Terrorism. Terrorist. Those were terrorists in the United States. If it's States, violence. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, so if it's violence uh -huh. for a, a greater ideological end, mm -hmm. I have no problem labeling it terrorist. The, the, okay, so then, just, just to keep, keep yeah. in mind, I just want to get this out. Okay. I think we all must agree on this. The, the definition of terrorism cannot depend on the substantive rightness or wrongness of the underlying motive pos position, right? Everyone agrees with that. Like, we cannot say that it's terrorism only well, when it's, you know, people... Well, but the problem is, colloquially, correct. that seems to be how it goes. But yeah, I understand that. But so then, so, at, so the, at that point... So your definition of terrorism cannot... I agree, terrorism I never said it. ...has to turn the same line that I did, course, where we're going to call some stuff we like. But, but, okay. but the thing is, is then, at that point, literally every single riot, because most of these have social causes, I, I think it's... Maybe there are some that don't. But for the most part, then, every single riot, then, is a is an act of terrorism, or at least domestic Not terrorism. Not necessarily. I mean, if it's an act of... Uh, so, so you, you can okay, fight... Okay, how about, how about let's say every specific... single every single riot that's caused due to social unrest, we can all say that these are all acts of... Not necessarily. Of... I mean, I, I could see an artful argument that this was not an act in pursuit of an ideological aim. It was just an act of rage. Or, let's say, for the looting, this was not an act of... Uh, uh, for an ideological purpose, this was just someone taking advantage of heightened tensions to just steal stuff. So there can be cases where it doesn't fit it because the specific person does not have that ideological purpose that needs to be present.
Does that make sense? No, no, no. Hold on. That's why not. That's what the broader movement. So you would still label the broader movement as something that's terrorist, even no, no. I'm not as comfortable labeling like broad swaths of people. That that's why I'm not comfortable saying that like in the aggregate. Uh, Vivian contributes to an overall attitude that says there's nothing, there's no other option left but violence, because it, it doesn't feel, feel fair to attribute sort of collective punishment to someone who's part of a movement for which there are a lot of members who certainly are, are, are um, fit that definition. Collectively punish all of them. Francisco, both your, both your criteria are met with, with Vivian. No, because the proclivity, yes. no, the, the proclivity yes. definition Wait, hold is on. not yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, hold on. Yes, because You're making if, it legal. if this person, if this, no, stop. If this person is coming onto panels over and over for, for months, right? Coming onto panels regularly uh, and making these same kind of statements over and over again, there's a greater than 0% chance that someone in this audience of fucking uh, terminally online weirdos is has like the, the fucking combination of personality characteristics. They might put them on the verge of going over the edge and going out and doing some lone, lone wolf shit. Oh, no, right? so so no, like, you're, you're misunderstanding. So the, the, I think we would all agree that the point that the quote, stochastic terrorism is committed is at the point the statement is made. Correct. Yes. And so it's not post hoc, right? Um, and so to the extent that you think at the time Vivian's making the statements, those particular comments are likely to incite any particular person to violence. No, I, think the I, odds I totally of that, Can I finish? So the odds of that are very extremely low. She's on a panel where everyone, including myself, is fighting against her in front of mostly libs and left wing people who are not. Uh, I I don't think have the propensity to violence anyway on Twitch on a platform. I, I really think that that. The odds of that happening are extremely low, given her her comments and the fact that her comments are couched in qualifications and predicate facts that are do not present themselves uh, commonly in society. I, we, that, we, that last we, we can't see it. We can't see it. We can't Sorry, say well, uh, Gappy, is, Gappy hasn't got a chance to talk, so Gappy, please. Yeah. We, we can't say that any of this is non-zero, though. Yeah, she's getting completely... I, I'm not aware of all of her fucking comments, but obviously, obviously she's getting pressed on by the rest of the fucking panel. But we, there's no way we can completely say it's What about Destiny's comments? Like, what about Destiny? Is, like, is Destiny a stochastic terrorist? Why, not, why isn't he? Yes. We have to, yes. 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 Yeah. Destiny, you should look circumstances. Depends on what he's advocating Destiny, are you, uh, Destiny, are are you a stochastic terrorist? The problem is... Wait, wait, no. I want to hear his answer. The your own is, okay, I, I want right. to hear his answer. I've been, I've been trying to talk for at least half an hour. I'm going to get my fucking answer in, yeah. and then you can ask him whatever the fuck you want, okay? I got to do my own fucking cloud chasing here. I am the most desperate for content here. I need to fucking get in here, all right? Because the problem is, I feel like, ironically enough, we're looking for different other factors that are to determine the propensity of the likelihood that they're actually going to be causing some sort of issue okay. and the ideological strength of those beliefs and those motives, right? Yet at the same time, at the same fucking breath, we're looking, and I'm going to pull out case law here, we're looking for some type of Termin Yellow versus, versus the city of Chicago shit, where there has to be fighting words, or we have to have some specific type of statement that's a specific incitement of violence, and only then, when we have that type of direct evidence, we can call it stochastic terrorism, rather than looking at the totality of the circumstances overall. Like I submit to you, Gappy, that anything that Viv did, a Destiny statement qualifies for, and I want to hear Destiny's, by his own criteria, isn't that comment you made a form of stochastic terrorism? I think well, you could argue. I think you could say, yeah, sure, yeah, for Destiny, sure. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, don't do that. Don't, don't okay. So wait, 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 violent protests that happened um, and the Civil Rights Act was arguably <laughs> like acts of terrorism, whatever, however we want to define terrorist act or, or whatever, right? I wouldn't use the term, but if we were going to, sure. Um, we can also say that there are forms of stochastic terrorism where like, hey, you know, there are certain groups of people in certain circumstances, we can say like domestic violence victims um, or people that have been kidnapped by somebody. We're like, hey, you know, if somebody's taking you to another location, you don't have contact with anybody else, like sometimes all you can do is fight back. We can argue, like, yeah, sure, these might be forms of stochastic terrorism, for sure. I'm not saying that so stochastic you terrorism- stochastic terrorism? I mean, what? that- Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Okay, hold on. I'm not trying to say that in and of itself it's necessarily a bad thing. We can take one step further and we can analyze, like, is this like a good call to violence or not? Because I think there are righteous and good calls to violence. We think we all believe that. However, I don't think in the case where we're saying the all of our U.S. institutions have fundamentally failed, so we need large swaths of Americans killing other large swaths of Americans. If you want to say that that's on the same level as saying... I believe that people should have a right to defend their property. I mean, you can make those comparisons if you want, but I think that I have much better ground to stand on than Vivian, who's essentially giving you carte blanche to murder every fucking conservative in the United States. Dude, and can I okay, get okay, no, no, but, but to be clear, but, but to be clear th 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 Destiny, when you made that, uh, that comment about the rioters, you said they have your blessing to go out and do that. So, the rioters? So I, don't know that. I, said that people, yeah. I said that people whose private property is being destroyed in a video game would, ha would have my uh, support in whatever... 
Do yeah, that, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. That is exactly, wait, that is exactly what I said. You said, you, back, you said you go, white hold redneck hold militia hold on, dudes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rolling down dipshit protesters. No, no. You said they'd have hold your on, blessing. Hold on, hold on. I'm not here to answer for a 15 second clip. If you want to go back and watch the video, it is painfully obvious what I'm talking about. My entire argument was that if the cops aren't going to show up, if nobody else is going to help you, if you want to defend your property, I believe you should have the right to do so. It wasn't about indiscriminately killing protesters. If you think that, you're either retarded or you only watch the 15 second clip. That's not what I'm saying. That is exactly exactly what you just said. You just said that. No, that's not true. No, no, I said, on. okay, initially Doobie, I said Doobie, rioters. Doobie, Doobie, Doobie. No, when Doobie, I said, when I said dipshit clip, protesters, Doobie, I said dipshit Doobie. protesters because that's what you said. Doobie, Those you are your words. You get mad that's the word you said. Your quit, Wait, you said if though. that means, okay, I know that I know that you were you talking about how the riots and the burning of buildings and all this shit needed to stop. I agree with you, right? But when you said that if that means that white uh, redneck militia dudes need to go out and mow, mow down dipshit protesters, right? If they think they can torch buildings at 10 p.m., right? Then they have your blessing. You you said that, right? So yeah, yeah, I, sure. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. yeah. In the, in the, in the, in the context of should oh. people be able to defend their private property when other people okay. are invading their shit and blowing it up in the cops are doing Yeah, that's my my personal belief. Okay, okay. So it's almost like we think, look at the totality of the circumstances yeah, of a yeah. statement so rather think, than one fifteen so second clip. Think, I don't know why we keep trying to find up, find up, some one up, single shut up, fucking shut statement shut up, to go off of somebody instead of actually looking at fucking everything. Shut up. So do you think it'd be reasonable? Right, for somebody uh, to say that if, if someone did go out and, and mow down a bunch of dipshit protesters who were burning down buildings at 10 p.m., if that did happen and what? they found that that person had listened to your stream at some point, they could say that, that you're responsible for this. If they if they some want, if somebody would have listened to a 15 second clip and that's all they took, then yeah, sure, you can argue that like my rhetoric in that case uh, played into it to some extent. Sure, I definitely got really spicy in that conversation. That's fine, but just don't walk around pretending like that's I'm fine. trying to say that you should go down and murder protesters, right? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it. that. At I, all. Sure, I could like, phrase it better, like, but I do support people that want to defend their private property, even if it's now, not necessarily legal in the United like, States. Can we? I support can we and even if sure. it's the Catholic terrorism. Can we? Can hold on, wait, 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 hold on, stop, hold on. You keep trying to think this is an own piece, go. I also support terrorism of women who are being fucking raped and murdered in Afghanistan. Afghanistan by the okay. by the fucking Taliban, okay? So when you keep saying like, oh, we're using more terrorism, yeah, that's not an argument. You're not making okay. a good argument. You're not getting an own. You're not getting a good then point don't, across. Then there don't, are then don't come times, There are absolutely times where I think you can justify large acts of violence against certain types of state entities or certain types of Don't come of at me for entities. January 6th. So don't come at me for January 6th. I'm I mean, not that, coming at you for okay. January 6th. I think that was a horrible thing. I think that was all horrible as well. What do you mean? I even am saying on here. You I think, think it that, was yeah. I think that Trump engaged in a form of stochastic terrorism. I just don't like the individual labeling of people as terrorists. I just think it's an arbitrary dumb turn I mean, every state is a different definition it doesn't mean anything that's it's a totally okay. different thing yeah so okay connor, wait connor, wait, connor, 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 connor. connor i'm gonna jerk off a bunch of ghost sticks holy shit motherfuckers so okay for us, like please. 15 fucking minutes yeah doobie you are banned from my gooning server you are no longer allowed to listen to grown men jerking off okay? that's fucked up so, yeah well far. you yeah you cut me off one too many times you should have fucking listened to me so anyways <laughs> uh pisco back when we were trying to like we were trying to parse out like multiple fucking definitions in, in the things and we were using blm which was an interesting example particularly because it would be uncomfortable for people to label the blm movement as a terror movement despite there being some violent elements of it but there also being like a broader ideological movement that's seeking political change within the country i think that was an interesting point but to separate out that point there's sub factions within the blm movement there's general protesters who are using peaceful protests in order to advocate for those goals we would not call those people terrorists there are some people who are calling to violence which i would say they are using stochastic terrorism while maybe not being terrorists themselves and then there was the one guy who shot like seven cops to death in dallas who i do think was a ideologically motivated individual who who was non-state who used uh, ideology as an excuse for violence and engaged in violence against people in an indiscriminate way. I would call that individual a terrorist. But the, to, to kind of parlay this back into the fucking conversation, it, I'm sure there were tens of thousands of people who were talking about killing cops as vengeance for unjustified police homicides. I'm sure there were tens of thousands of them. And would I call them individually terrorists? No, but would I say that they were engaging in stochastic terrorism because eventually it would culminate into a violent eruption? I would say, yeah, they're contributing to that. And I think that's the definitional parse out that we're trying to get to. Absolutely I think that's fair, Connor. I think, that's, uh, I think that's, a, that's, that's a fair point you make. Just be careful about this sort of aggregate effect uh, element to it. Because I think that aggregate effect... Um, where every member of that aggregate is now a stochastic terrorist. The terrorist could be applied to like Trump's base. 
And in which well, case, you know, 30% of the country is stochastic terrorists. I don't, I think we're because way, I think we're way too fixated. About that? I, think, I think we're, I think we're, we're way too fixated on this idea that like, if you're like a stochastic terrorist is the worst fucking thing in the world. I don't think that it's like, I think it's probably worse to steal from a fucking grocery store than it is to be a quote unquote stochastic terrorist depending on scale. That we just need uh, some way, scale. we need some term to describe what it is. And we don't like the term stochastic terrorism. Oh, that's fine. fine. But there has to be something in between. This is just my random speech. And I'm literally telling you to murder somebody. There is this group of rhetoric in the middle where you're undermining institutions, where you're telling people that all hope is lost and the only action that they have is violence at that point. When you're engaged in that form, we need a word to describe it. It sounds like, Pisco, you're like really hung up on the term stochastic. No, I'm you fine. want to pick no, no. another term, that's fine. But this that's idea... Fine. That's fine. No, no, that's no. Fine. But no, it's no, not I, fine because right. you're disagreeing because you're saying that like you need to be able to show there's actually clearly when there's a good chance that somebody in an audience might enact in, uh, some form of violence. But that's not true. It's ne we're never going to know that. Nobody can ever know that, right? For fucking uh, what Connor's saying, it might have been that the guy that went and, and killed the fucking cops, he might have just heard some fucking 100 viewer YouTuber who said it. He's like, you know what? This really me and then he went and did it right we don't know that it, this is how the nature of online communication and large form communication works that's actually the or uncertain the more the more, so the more uncertain like, you are the more uncertain you are the more over inclusive it is and so just be right, careful so about that I, terms you okay, being really I, inclusive. I think, I think, or, or I think we're just really the fact that it's not going to have Please it's not going to consider no, that fact. Okay, wait, wait, one second. Can, I, think, no, I think we're really I'm, focused on on Vivian. No, in, not, no. I, don't, I don't think. Wait, I don't think there's a reason to be because we're we're no, totally I'm, missing I'm, out. Like, just we're totally, totally missing out on. We're totally way, missing no out. Moderating occurring. We're totally missing out on the HQ, right? Which is the HQ. We're totally missing out on the HQ, right? Which is someone like Hassan, right? On on his platform. Right, saying that the Kyle Rittenhouse is gonna would have got enough no matter what because he's white, totally, totally uh, misrepresenting the the facts of the case to his audience, totally misrepresenting the facts of the Jacob Blake case to the audience. Uh, I saw on fucking TYT, right, separate from Hassan, sort of, um, fucking uh, Anna Kasparian the other day uh, said that during the trial was the first time she'd ever seen any of the videos related to the Kyle Rittenhouse event, any of them, any of the oh, shooting videos. Insane. They've been making videos about that shit for a year. It's yeah. fucking insane. So how are these people not responsible in some way for, for riots or violent protests that happen as a result of their coverage of these events? Are you asking me? It's, so this it's is I'm asking any of you. hold them accountable. No, it's like this is literally, this is so literally- I, I, I want to, hold on, hold on, hold on. I also want to get Fnatic in because he hasn't gotten a chance to speak. So Fnatic, uh, go ahead. If you have anything you want to add. Uh, if you're talking, you're muted. You're already muted, so. Is anybody is anybody here saying that they are completely divorced from like any of the violence that would occur? I don't think that's the case. Like I I I feel like what's happening here is like it's like we we keep arguing as if we have a disagreement on what stochastic terrorism is, and we don't. Like all, everyone here at, at least has an understanding. Like we all agree. Like this is what it is. Now the only disagreement I thought was whether or not it applied to Vivian or whether or not it applied to. Destiny no, we're disagreeing on the likelihood of somebody in an audience to commit an act for whether or not you're engaged in stochastic terrorism or whatever. Whether or not it's a factor to consider when well, the ideological purpose behind it. Well, don't say it, all well, because well, sure, it's sure. Just okay, people I don't. I don't even think. Okay, good. So then let's ask this. Is there any person that thinks that if you do something that has a 1% chance of a person committing violence that you would still be a stochastic terrorist? Yes. Did Potentially, you... if your audience is big enough, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, for, it, sure. It, it, yeah for, for sure. I, I would like to take a position, right, that I think that the term itself is problematic. And here's why I think the term itself is problematic, okay? Because you get into a, like, ironically enough, the term can actually reinforce itself. When you start calling people terrorists, that aren't necessarily terrorists, you almost engage in what the definition of the term itself is. You start calling your political opponents, you start hinting at the fact that they're terrorists, right? When, when they don't fit the definition of terrorism. And I think, which is the point I was trying to make in the beginning, in my opening statement, is that I think really what we need to engage with is we need to understand how social media affects our culture, and we need to understand how journalistic integrity rotting on both sides of the fence, right? Like, this isn't me being like, lies, the left-wing media lies, you're wrong. Right? That's like, pretty I'm, good. I'm trying to say that, like, like Fox News, CNN, all of them, they're all engaging in a lack of journalistic ethics. And so that's, this is why these situations become dangerous, right? This is why, like exactly what Doobie was talking about with like Anna Kasperian coming out here and she's able to, to portray herself as a journalist and yet she's done literally no fucking research that like your average 40 year old mom that watches Facebook videos. <clears throat> whose, fa whose fault it's is that? Wait, who's, 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 whose fault is that? I'm not Anna's? pointing to a single individual. I'm Point to an institution. 
I'm talking about culture, right? Institutions and government yeah. are downstream from culture. Right? So yeah, but I think so, I think the problem is you said, and I'm hold on, I'm really aggressive right now. So you might not have exactly met this. Right, so, like, right? I'm but, not trying so, to yeah, come at you, the, bro. No, no, I understand. I'm not saying come at me, but like I don't like this idea of blaming the media. I think that if there were people out there that do good research, and there are, they're on this platform, okay? There are people on this platform that present things Can that I, give I really an example. I'll give an example, right? I so give example. CNN, the Rose Wrist guy on this on this channel, the Kyozen guy, Wicked Supreme. These are people who are relatively dispassionate so, people. Or we right. can, or we can look at larger things. But but I'm just saying, like even on this platform, there are people that like do decent analysis that are relatively dispassionate. They're not like screaming at everybody. Like, nobody wants to watch that shit. They want to watch us scream at each other over whatever shit we're screaming at each other on. Or when it comes right, to mainstream I'll give media. An example. I'll give an example. Right. What? So so I think like an example of of the causes of this, right? And why I think this is should be more tailored to an understanding of social media and 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 journalism as opposed to just talking about individuals that spout bullshit, right? Rand Paul, right? Everyone remember the Rand Paul story where he got attacked by you can say BLM, you can say Black Block, whoever they fucking were, right? Wasn't they were screaming. Even... They were scre well, he's been attacked a few times, right? But when when he was with his wife following the Trump uh, speech at the RNC, right? He was attacked and they were screaming, say her name. Brianna. This is the dude who literally wrote the Justice for Breonna Taylor Act, right? Like this, because he's a Republican, the, the idea was he must be bad, right? He must be one of those piece of shit cop supporters that, that likes the idea that like no knock warrants are used and celebrates Breonna Taylor's death. So they're screaming, say her name to the motherfucker who wrote the Breonna Taylor bill, right? So like, we, we, I think the issue isn't necessarily the talking heads on Twitch and YouTube, while they do play a role, I think it's an overarching issue about the way that our culture is changing and the way that journalism is, is not, it's not easy for us to find accurate information anymore because all of these large media places have massive amounts of bias. They don't fucking sort their, uh, cite their sources like they should be. They don't use two unnamed sources and one going on the record. And they, and that this bias churns up more of this bullshit because they want clickbait. And so I think we have to talk about like what our social media and what our journalistic ethics are doing and not necessarily Vivian to an audience of a couple hundred people saying some bullshit. Yeah, she's a piece of shit, obviously, right? Like she calls for violence against people because of their political ideology and not because they're actually harming her in any like specific way, right? Like that's a terrible fucking take. And you know, it's a bad person that does that. That being said, labeling her a terrorist, right, tends to lead towards a situation where we're having more and more diff like it's it's becoming more and more difficult to separate. Like if Antifa is just terrorists, then I then I'll never talk about Antifa. We should just kill them in a video game. That's no. not good, right? Like no. we, we, right, no. but it, but it's still the scatastic. I get understand that there's a differentiation in terms, but I'm saying it's I, also I, a loaded I agree. Term. I understand it. I agree that it is a loaded term, but I think that there needs to be like almost a like a zero tolerance in society for people that are giving these types of positions because yeah, I, I'm on two minds of it. I'll agree with you because yeah, because yeah. the problem is that like. What you're saying is that using... I don't want to dehumanize them, though. I That's understand, the problem. I but the, it's, it's not so much whether you dehumanize them. The problem is that, like, you literally have people that are... So here's what I would say, okay? There is a... Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think that it'll probably happen, but there's definitely a chance that there could be violent riots following the Rittenhouse verdict, right? That, that somebody else might right. get killed as a result of that, right? The only reason why you would go and riot afterwards is because you've been misled by somebody else about the facts of the case. That is the only reason you would go out and riot, assuming he gets a, a, an innocent on all charges verdict, right? So in that case, much, yeah. how do you not draw a straight line from people on this platform or YouTube or in the mainstream media? Fucking Joe Scarborough just yesterday, I think, said that like he fired 60 rounds of his rifle that night. He fired like eight, okay? When you've got people that are directly saying this type of shit and then people go out and they act and act violence because of it, I think that's fucked up. And I think there should be a zero tolerance for that kind of of rhetoric when you're saying like you have to yeah, guys all we do, yeah. the, the, the problem here is are, are we dehumanizing people that we disagree with politically for the speech that they use that we disagree with it's not and, about just and, disagreeing and, and with and speech. furthering balkanization no it's not just about disagreeing with speech it's like the idea that like you're calling for people to essentially become like violent actors you're saying yeah, that's I obviously negative. have yeah. no problem with saying this person's a piece of shit like I'm, I keep saying it, it, has to be, it needs to be more than that right. like if somebody's trying to say all Muslims are invading your country they're gonna kill you all and rape all your women right like well I don't mm -hmm. want to dehumanize them I'm not really concerned Concerned about that? I think that type of rhetoric should be like close to zero. They're doing that um, shit anyways. 
Does intentionality matter to you, Destiny? I mean, does, if someone's like, oh, well, I didn't, like, and, and it's supposed that they're genuine and they didn't really mean for their comments and their misinformation to cause violence. Suppose you could read their mind. Would you say, okay, that person, he I think was, it becomes uh, a, an idiot. I think it becomes similar in a legal sense to where I want to say for some crimes, like the intentional act can almost be as bad as like the reckless endangerment, like the willful reckless endangerment. So mm -hmm. like, I, I wouldn't say that it's on the same level, but I'd say it's like, it's pretty close. So like okay. a Facebook mom sharing a meme, nah, I don't think so. But like somebody like me or Hassan who does this shit, you know, eight hours a day should probably know better. And also to be okay. clear, again, nobody's gonna be perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not saying that like, nobody should ever do this. If you do it one time, you need to be excised from all of society or whatever. But I'm saying like this idea, uh, cause I've done this in the past. You can say, argue with my um, fucking terrorist comments for whatever or you can say that i've been wrong on my analysis in some case or i retweeted hell i'm not reading the fucking thing I'm, i've done it too of course but like there should be a low to zero tolerance for that type of behavior in society like we should absolutely demonize the fuck out of it i'm well, just and, and especially and especially ahead, in, no and especially intentionally that that's like that's like the frustration with this thing is like if it happens once and then that person fucks up and they're like hey listen i contributed to a fucking toxic act uh, toxic atmosphere as a result i want to modify right. my, some of my some of my behavior so i don't repeat it again mm -hmm. or whatever dude fucking come back in we all make fu fuck sure. ups we all say fucking crazy shit we say crazy shit on this fucking panel but if you see time after time after time after time this person creates the toxic environment and then backs off when it's fucking when, when it's uh, politically expedient or whatever mm -hmm. that's a pattern of behavior that has to be intentional and i think that's what like a lot of us take issue with and, and in particular like th this is kind of a weird conversation to have in reference to the mix because the one thing i respect about her is she'll just say it a lot of people will just fucking bounce around and be like well i'm not saying I okay sure but that doesn't necessarily make it better violence. right like it makes it better to me i'll tell you that sure but <laughs> like, I, it's gonna be bad i would scooter. rather have an honest it's easy to call to out. but when you when you mention yeah. that negligence thing something you say is also this is a big problem that i have with like vosh for instance so like this is somebody that will time and time again get something completely wrong attribute all this malice get the facts wrong over and over again but then they'll come out like you know a week later and be like oh hey guys just you know i was wrong about this thing here's the actual thing that happened when people do this over and over and over and over again at some point you're like okay bro like if we're not like at willful recklessness like you're intentionally yeah. being like just stupid at this point like That's you, the, i think everything you just said is totally reasonable but I just think that uh, by any stretch, you should not have a problem then with the looseness of terrorism at times. You just said there are clear cases where someone like Vosh or her son might demonstrate reckless indifference, where it's it, you know very clear that in your mind that, that fits the bill. But for people like Facebook moms, it's less clear. That's the same thing with terrorism. They're both ambiguous and can be misused, both stochastic terrorism and regular terrorism. And you shouldn't differentiate your, your usage there and be uncomfortable, more comfortable with stochastic terrorism than you are with regular if, terrorism. Okay, if, can I, can we, I throw you an olive branch? Well, here, I can, hold on. Because I'll agree with him real quick, then you can say whatever you want, okay? I, so if, if we lived in a world where everybody was peaceful and destiny, I'm probably okay with the word terrorist, okay? But the problem is if I buy into your word of terrorism right now and then I use that going forward, nobody, okay, less than 1% of Americans or people that would, uh, would be on the left would support calling like um, BLM riots terrorist riots. Nobody would do it. Nobody would be comfortable saying that like Malcolm X engaged in domestic terrorism. Nobody would be comfortable saying that, right? Um, now, if everybody was comfortable jumping on board with saying like, okay, yeah, like there could be good forms of terrorism and bad forms of terrorism, which I believe if I was going to say terrorism was a thing, absolutely, I would say there can be good informed bad terrorism. Absolutely. But most people aren't willing to engage with that because it's a highly politicized definition. Oh, public and private positions. Well, is how we split no. the difference. Hot. Well, okay. Sure. I, so I want to yeah. offer you. I want to offer you an olive branch too. If your concern is that we're being too loose with the word like terrorist or terrorism, and because of the context that this is coming down in, which is the global war on terror, where we've effectively militarized the entire globe specifically to kill terrorists. Exactly. And you're worried that this rhetoric is going to come back and take a massive shit on us because I'm worried about Destiny's too. Right. Okay, I'm, hold on, but, but but just real quickly, if you're worried that this rhetoric is going to come back and take a massive shit on us, despite being definitionally correct, I agree with you. I yeah, I'm I'm, I'm very concerned specific. about like. I mean, yeah, said I'm it. very concerned yeah. about like us widening the definition of terrorism. Yeah. And then we can call yeah. people terrorists for things that didn't meet years. previous definitions of terrorism. Yeah, but I don't we like right now. dehumanize them. And then before you know it, the FBI is like, oh, well, that's scholastic. Yeah. That's scholastic Avian terrorism. Said it. Beautiful. And like the go. FBI has every right to tap your phones. And the FBI has every right to, to fly footage over BLM uh, protests and make sure that if you're there for more than an hour and they ping your cell phone there that they can automatically put you and key log mm -hmm. you in their system oh wait yeah, so hold on wait, real quick fuck was anybody it, it was anybody on this panel arguing that like legal definition should be brought in when we talk about sarcastic terrorism 
No. Okay, no, so not a but, single person here is in favor of like the FBI tapping people for stochastic. When, when you were when you were taking issue with the terrorism seen, definition, we've seen we've already seen how cultural changes of definition make yeah, their right. way to the Supreme right. Court, and then the Supreme Court will use those definitions. And we saw this with gender, right? Like we right. saw the way that they expanded the um, the the was it the the 14th amendment um to the lgbt was instead of saying like no you need you need an actual change you need an actual change in the constitution they're like well that would be too much that was right? an originalist opinion by gorsuch and you're saying that that was i don't know some well i'm, I'm just saying like, even in the highest levels of court right you have you can see how the the us changing the language right can be a way that the state can can justify right not actually having to create new laws or circumnavigating the constitution just by the changing of those things so we don't need another we don't need another patriot act if we start culturally using the term page uh terrorism differently because they can just say well like this is what the term terrorism wait means. but couldn't we just and literally apply this to any new term we create to call out this thing that w the word the, the, the state is going to make it, it happens, illegal happens all the time we're, just, we're calling what's happening in, in china right now with the, with the uyghurs a, a cultural genocide like where did that oh, word what's the definition wait, well, to be clear, we wouldn't call that a we cultural genocide. We'd call, that a, we'd call that a genocide, genocide, right? That's that's what you chose to enter with was fucking. No, uh, no wait, but like, wait, so here's my here's my here's my here's it's, it's, here's it's, it's so the exact same situation. All they're doing is conditioning you for a response, right? Like if that's what you're going to say, okay, that so then we doing can't, the word terrorism. Right we can't call out any bad thing ever because at some point the state might do anything. I guess. Is it? Well, that was no, kind of I'm just saying that's not the argument. I'm just saying like there's parallels. we can't have any sort of interpretation of any sort of term. We can't have any differentiation. Why would I say that? versus what we. Why would I say something that's stupid? I'm not saying that. I mean, it I'm sounds like you're saying something that's a stupid. very loaded word that has that that could have more dangerous legal connotations and okay, can then have. Fine, then somebody invent a new word. Since half the problems on this panel seem to just be like the word, F find a new word for it. Then and we can all just agree on that and move forward. I'm okay with that. I mean, the issue seems well, to literally just be a Costco earlier. Right? It's like what like what word would you use for a situation? If you want to call it like pa like passive passive incitement to violence or something, I I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, if you the want reason to think why I, I agree with Destiny that like this could be used to apply it's in to any word. But the only thing, the only reason it's relevant, Destiny, is because that was the reason you said not to use uh, terrorism is because of the societal implications of using it, and it's going to cause all sorts of problems and classifications that people won't sure, agree with. Then just you. find a new, find a new term. Then I, I don't know anything okay. else just, that exists just, that describes like what stochastic terrorism is. I've just I've heard the term stochastic terrorism. I've seen it explained, and I like the concept behind that. If you want to de develop a new way, and then I'll try to make this my new word that I only I, mean, I will use fair, and other people will use it. But, wait, hold on. Do you guys can I ask you like a... something you said right, and not the term itself, which was the original topic? Like okay, but really, really quickly. So do you guys think that someone like Hassan or or Vosh, right? People who are seem more concerned with pushing a particular movement or narrative than uh, presenting reality about a specific case. Do you think these kind of people should be allowed on the platform if there's some kind of uh, some reason to believe that them doing this again and again and again might lead to riots and protests and violence? Of course not. But then legally, that would be something called incitement. Right? Well, we're not so talking legally. I think he means like TOS, right? Well, yeah, so, like okay, so, are, so, 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 so if Hassan, so if Hassan is I, like, I haven't, I don't watch Hassan because I'm not brain dead, but I've, yeah. I've, I've heard what people have said about his coverage, and I've, I think I saw like a, a tiny clip about him mentioning like Kyle being white or whatever the fuck, right? So if he's saying stuff like that about Kyle Rittenhouse, right, and and he's streaming to tens of thousands of people every fucking day, right? Um, if if there's a chance that him doing this again and again and again. And implying that, you know, uh, a white guy can just go out and murder people and because the system's racist, it's totally fine. Right. And he's going to get off. If, if that can, if, we're, if we can acknowledge that that can lead to terrorism. Right. Should he be on the platform? Sure. I, I would say that. No. Like, we, so like TOS, a lot of times are, are, are going to be like a, a, a simpler version or a more whatever private version of whatever we would say is probably like it's problematic like we, we're making laws against it because it's obviously something wrong and so i'm sure tos is going to probably want to make sure that what they're doing is legal already right so ultimately like yeah somebody that's constantly doing okay. something that's inciting violence we would automatically so so what about someone like like vash who like immediately immediately after the jacob blake shooting went out and said that it's, it's totally unjustifiable they're going to try to justify it anyway because of the racist or any this cop analysis totally he does it's all yeah. the fucking same yeah. Mm -hmm. So someone like this, should this person be on Twitch? Should Prime be on Twitch because yes. they're bringing on Vivian? 
who's saying this crazy shit all the time. I think, or me, who some some people, I, some people, some some people like say that I say crazy things sometimes. Sure, okay? So, so if Prime is bringing these people on, right, should he be on the platform? It has to be really specific, right? Like, so, like, when you want to start talking about stochastic terrorism or stochastic terrorism, it's going to be like it. It's 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 going to be a much 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 harder thing to prove, right? Like like so then at this point like it, it, it it's it, like because of its how nebulous it is, it's going to be up to the individual creators to be able to say something, and they're probably going to need to find a little bit more like strong of a connection other than like the fact that someone is just wrong. Like yeah, because the, the reason why I was um I didn't push back against this earlier because everybody wants to go ham, but when when Destiny gave his argument and I was trying to give like a, a counter, like it's. Any time, if I ever say that there's injustice within our criminal justice system, then by definition, you could say I'm possibly a stochastic um, no. terrorist. Because, because at this point, at this point, if it's our criminal justice system and our legal system and our judicial system, right? Uh, I mean, and and, and, our, and our Congress, right? Um, then at this point, then yeah, like the idea is, if all of the powers that be have some form of systemic racism in there, then that means that these systems can embolden and empower themselves. So then that means it seems like the only like. Like, yeah, not under my definition. That's not, just do don't something. invoke my definition because that's not what I said. I don't, okay, I don't think, how, I don't how, think is, how are those things different than my that? thing is when I, I said that if you say the only way to remedy these systems is through violence, that's when it when you've crossed the line. It didn't say that explicitly. And what, what Fanatic is trying to explain is that you said that there's plausible deniability to it, that you don't have to see I never say said anything. Oh, well, hold on. I never said oh, anything sorry. about plausible deniability ever. What do you mean? Uh, well, you, but you said that you'd have to say it directly, and that you were looking for. I said um, you don't have to say it directly, but when when the only possible alternative is violence. So, for instance, let's say fanatic. Let's say fanatic was saying that, like, I think that there is systemic racism in our uh, sometimes even in our voting process. I think there's systemic racism in our uh, policing. I think there's systemic racism all throughout our judicial system. He and, believes that. I right? think. Sure. Let's say that he said all of those things. I don't think he's established it yet. Now, if he were to go on and say things like, I don't think voting is going to do anything. Voting won't change anything. All of these systems are fundamentally broken. Nobody listens to you. Nobody cares about you. There's nothing you can do to change any of this shit. Then I think we've crossed the line. I was like, okay, well, then we got to start killing people. That's literally the only alternative left, right? That's that's what I think the difference other alternatives, is. for the record. Or leave the country I, or whatever. But so, I so, gave so, agorism. I gave dual power theory. I gave oh, so I I'm a, I'm a local yeah, situations, I, 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 right? I do, I okay, but we I, all... I think, I think really what we should... Oh, no, sorry, understand. sorry. Counter, 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 counter. I, I was going to say, we have to recognize the power of speech, not just as a, a tool of radicalization, but also as a vent. Um, so I, I think that's like an important thing because like, so, so for instance, like if we, you were kind of somebody, I think Doobie was asking like, should I be de platform? Should Destiny be de platform? Should everybody on this fucking panel be de platform? Because in, at some point in our lives, we advocated for some level of non-state violence and blah, blah, fucking blah. Okay. So the, the logical answer is yes, but then that seems too hyperbolic, right? So I think that the, the real stance has to be is like, we have to evaluate this from the perspective of, is this, um, you know, gonna use some utilitarian calculi, uh, is this a vent or is this contributing to more violence? Because if it's people bitching on the fucking internet, you don't wanna stamp, you don't wanna tamp down on that because then that's gonna fucking froth over, become a volcano and then eventually explode. You wanna give people the yes. ability to express controversial fucking ideas. That way they can get it out of their fucking system. And then that way they're less that's a likely beautiful to act point, on I mean, ideas. That, that's a wonderful point. I think classic protected political hyperbole is like what Kathy Griffin did with Trump's head. And you, what you guys are essentially lies, saying is- though, right? Well, what do you think? I mean, that's like classic. Uh, there's yeah. another LBJ one, a classic uh, SCOTUS well, one. I think that that's protected I think speech. Wait, hey, hold on, real quick. We're going into these are the legal backlash? arguments now. I don't well, think well, anybody before really was talking about making this illegal. Oh, I don't mean illegal. I mean like as in in terms of like part of the rhetoric of America uh, about uh, stuff that we've accepted as as part sure. as not sarcastic. Here's, okay, here's something that a lot of people aren't comfortable with for some reason. Okay, there are consequences. There are negative consequences to the First Amendment. There are objectively bad things that happen as a result of freedom of speech. But all of us should be okay with that, right? Because we accept that we have a freedom of speech. Now, there are going to be some negatives, but we, like, we think the positives outweigh the negatives, right? So Snoop Dogg did some song where they shot basically Trump in the music video or whatever. And I don't know if this was challenged in court directly or not, but this is like if there was ever going to be a First Amendment, arguably it's for something like this. But if somebody went out and killed Trump, and they were like a huge Snoop Dogg fan, it's pretty dishonest to say, well, hold on, I don't see at all how that could have ever influenced that person. It seems like it probably did. So we can argue that like, yeah, this is maybe a form of, we can say- We don't analyze it at the time it, after it happened. We analyze it at the time Snoop Dogg made that video. Was that sarcastic Sure, terrorism. we can even argue at the time it happens. Yeah, sure, you that it might it be is. a form that it, that it rhetoric could be sarcastic at terrorism. The at the, time, time, it, that at was... the time it was made. Yes, we can absolutely say that, right? Sure, we can okay. say that. This is, I mean, oh, this is, 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 no, no, counter, you, no, you got to, 
get modded above me. Let me go real quick. So this is again, like as, as counter said, right? Like where we constantly end up in this ethical dilemma, right? Like I, I think what you should be doing is you should try not to call people loaded terms. You should call out their shitty ideas. Right. And I think that's really the, the, the thing here when people talk about, well, should this person be deplatformed or should the shit doesn't work? Right. Like, like it's, and it's, it's, it becomes a problem. Like the more people you deplatform, the more you just enc encourage websites like fucking 4chan and daily stormer and like other fucked up places where people aren't exposed to opposing counter narratives. Right. Wait, what you should do, Stephen you recently? Should, but the problem is their right. rhetoric. I mean, Stefan Molyneux yeah, is a fairly but, decent uh, following on BitChute, to be, to be fair. It's yeah, so very uh, clear. But no, but oh, I mean, God, yeah, shit. sure, he's lost some in, some some engagement. But No, he's lost almost everything, for, right? Let's right, but that honest. didn't work for fucking Alex Jones, right? Like, it you know, probably worked for him, so too. Memeable. He, he's, he's probably mitigated it a fuck No, yeah, Alex Jones Maybe, has absolutely but, lost like, a but ton, the right? Problem, but, but, right, but then you start getting into quantifying, like, what is the difference between someone having more ability to engage with his content, but then immediately going to the next YouTube video that's calling him out, and the difference between going to someone's website or going to their little dark corner. Like, have you seen the comments section and bitch shoot like every other Have fucking thing is section? like is like is like they except they don't use they in quotation marks right like you know you so like the, the the issue here is like when you start trying to to group people and then separate them instead of just attacking their shitty ideas you get into this whole conundrum of probabilities and problems what you should be doing is is, is the exact opposite of what destiny said but the same thing at the same time is that no we don't accept the first amendment because like we did a utilitarian calculus and said that some bad shit is acceptable we accept the first amendment because it's it a principle because it is a principle of free speech within within enlightenment values that we say that like, so long you're not calling for a direct actionable violence that you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want to say okay this is I like the splc got started defending the kkk right no. and why did they do that I because they were fucking FLS I because the, mm -hmm, sorry buddy no but I, i'll just finish and I'll, and I'll let you go right like why did they do that because they knew that it was better to call out those shitty ideas and to see those people with their fucking mask off counterpoints if you love the idea of vivian being mask off the whole time then mm -hmm. she needs to be on the platform so we can we can show people that follow her why these ideas are shitty Okay, yeah, yes and no, but but here here's the thing that I wanted to push back against very specifically. Mm -hmm. I think the First Amendment was a utilitarian calculus based off of the Founding Fathers. I think they said that when a society can, when people cannot speak for themselves, and they basically have to go around with, like, corrupt authority, what happens is that a society rots, and as a result, super negative shit happens over time. And the reason why you had to have... J.S. Mill, J.S. Mill was a utilitarian, like a famous so, one, right? And right, he wrote yeah, on liberty. So, so, I mean, you could be right in that in that but thing, but but, but this is, is still a principle of right our, but of our what i age. but but what i want to say is like so so for instance like very specifically like i it was kind of interesting having making a point that i think pisco might have not have thought that i agreed with but then we both agreed on it or whatever just because a lot of stochastic terrorism is legal what Tucker Carlson does every single night is legal. He's allowed to express his opinion in that way, even if that opinion ultimately results in people radicalizing to the point that they think that they're being invaded, that the government is out to fucking get them, that they need to fucking line their fucking, uh, their, their insulation in their house with fucking tinfoil, and they need to fucking snub their Mexican neighbors. Like, that's legal. Whether or not it's good is a different fucking question, and whether or not we should call it out culturally is a different fucking question. And I, I think the answer is I, I think I think calling it stochastic terrorism is perfectly fine because we can basically for me the, the term stochastic terrorism, the reason why I like the weight behind it is because it says, Hey buddy, we smell your fucking bullshit, we know what you're fucking poking at, and we know that you're poking at fucking evil shit. That's why I like the weight of the term, but I do have the government concerns that you were bringing up. Okay, wait one second. It'd be very clear about what I uh, meant, right? Or what, what my position is. So I did mention Connor, Fanatic, uh, Destiny, and uh, Prime in my opening, right? Um, so I, I think that all the all the examples that I gave, I think, could reasonably be seen as like stochastic terrorism. But I, I think well, I that I'm, for state actors, but, but 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 I also think that you know we all do a little stochastic terrorism sometimes. But you too, right? You said yourself as well. Me too. No. Me too. 
Okay. Okay. This, the bar is way too low, guys. I mean, yeah, you just yeah, have to way, consider the extent. So, however, of it. That's why however, we consider the extent. However, don't just get scared however, over somebody wait, using however, the word terrorism. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't think I don't think that word that this term is that big a deal, right? But however, I think that if we're going to um, be pushing Facebook and Twitter and all these other social media platforms to to um, moderate and to, to like regulate uh, fake news and misinformation spreading on their platforms, I think it's reasonable to expect the same thing of Twitch when we have people like Hassan pushing fake news about 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 really important uh, news items that could lead to violence i if I he's doing this repeatedly if he's doing this re if he's doing this repeatedly and it's demonstrable that he's doing this repeatedly like i yeah i think it's totally fine to say hey this person probably doesn't need to be on the platform uh, it's such a stretch. There's so much weight. Well, if somebody, if somebody is answer. repeatedly doing that type of back and forth shit, like if we look at Vosh and the shit that has been said with cops and he's repeatedly going back and forth, I know it's going to piss peace go off, but if there is a pattern of conformity there with, and we see that there is clear character evidence that time and time again they are acting within this trait, I think it's totally fine to take him off at this point. I, I think it's kind of stupid that we're basically waiting for the one singular moment that maybe they finally say something that's a lot more direct than circumstantial and even though there's been so many other prior instances this is a policy implication. we finally act. Yeah, now so, this is a so, policy so, implication of what you're saying and, that, and you're saying like essentially liars should be pushed off Twitch. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, so if we can, if we can demonstrate and everything that's that either, happening there. Yeah, that, that either they're, they're outright lying or they don't care enough about the actual news item to, to be honest about it because they're more concerned about pushing like a particular narrative. You're and this, this, this misinformation that they're pushing, right, might lead some people to act to react violently, right? Can you tell me why they shouldn't why they shouldn't be a policy that says these people should be removed from the platform? You're going to create more balkanization. Right. You're going to start separating people, right? Like if you if you get if you allow more and more corporate censorship then what you do is you drive more and more people off of the platform, except these people have jobs and they have money too, right? And so they're gonna wanna go somewhere else for their type of content. Like Twitch is already overwhelmingly left-wing in the politics space, right? Like I don't think anyone really disagrees with that. And I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying it is what it is, right? So if you allow corporate censorship and it starts to take on a political bias, which it's made by humans, it's gonna, right? Like whether it be right-wing or left-wing, it's gonna have some bias. It's gonna put, it's, and, and especially when you have reporting mechanisms, right? And you have, like you get this situation where it gets worse and worse. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have competitors start popping up and you're gonna have two different different sources for two yes. different groups of people with right. two different types of, of censorship creating two different echo chambers and yeah, maybe I even three or four i just really the answer the, the answer is free speech calling out people's bullshit ideas and decentralized and distributed networks so that we can get away from corporate and governments yeah, but this I just want to be about about because everybody because everybody on this panel we're talking about like a, a, a quite a different thing now and i know that all this is going to get attributed to me in a future conversation okay the reason why i like the discussion around stochastic error is because a lot of people People don't believe that that's a bad thing at all in any case ever or that it's real mm -hmm. this conversation right now about like should we deplatform people should they get banned How, what do we do about it uh, uh the fucking uh should it be illegal that's none of that shit i have ever endorsed ever I'm not talking about any of that i would just like people to acknowledge that it even exists first and then there's like the just like oh, me and the january 6 people that's all i want too I've already acknowledged and, it's bad could, no no you want okay. i acknowledge that it was wait don't say okay like i didn't if i was acknowledge it bad i just didn't i don't like calling it terrorism <laughs> But, but why? I mean, you would like calling them stochastic terrorists. I like calling them terrorists. Why is that? I don't call them stochastic is, terrorists. I would call them victims of stochastic terrorism. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Not, no, no, no. You like calling the people you want to call stochastic terrorists, stochastic terrorists, not because of any policy implications, Wait, but because no, you think on. it fits your definition. I, I, I like to call... I, I said that I like to call them stochastic terror victims of stochastic terrorism because Trump obviously engaged in rhetoric. That no, no, they, you're not, no, 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 no. Sorry, you want to accuse people like Vosh and those people of sure. stochastic uh, as uh, being stochastic terrorists, uh -huh. just like I want to accuse the people who, because I think it fits the definition, uh, at least the people who are committing violence on January 6 mm -hmm. uh, as being terrorists. And you say I'm not agreeing with all the other implications yeah, but here, of that. Yeah, sure, but the like, difference is here's, but here's the difference. Okay, you can give me any other word but terrorist, and I'll agree with you. Or you can even give me the word ter terrorist, and in your mind world, I can agree with you like it's, isn't there a parody here, destiny isn't there a parody i mean you're calling people stochastic terrorists i'm calling terrorists and you say uh to hell with the consequences it fits the definition i'm gonna call it but don't attribute me any of that other no because side stuff. i and wish, that's the I wish that it was a different term than stochastic terrorism because the terrorism word of the part doesn't right. mean anything has it has literally weight. nothing to do with what i'm talking about but because that word is in there you're seeing the parallel but it's not we could call the stochastic incitement to violence and then I, boom yes, this whole conversation violence. is different right the, everybody agrees that what happened with the with the january 6th stuff was fucking horrible and we can all agree to different varying levels of responsibility 
responsibility. I think you and I probably would almost completely overlap in terms of who we believe is responsible, the levels of responsibility shared, who should have charged, blah, 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 right? Whether we call them terrorists or something different. The reason why I'm interested in this term stochastic terrorism is because for a long time, the right denied that it was even that concept, whatever you want to call it, even existed. And now today, the left disagrees that that concept even exists. That's why I think there's an importance in discussing it. Now, if we want to call it stochastic incitement to violence or whatever, we can call it something different. It's just, I'm not, I don't care about the terrorist part of it. I just care about this concept that like, if you engage in a rhetoric that nothing is going to save you except for violence, then you have some culpability at the end of the day for if violence happens. If people die tomorrow because of the fucking verdict that comes out for the Rittenhouse shit, then I think that people like Assange and Vosh absolutely share in that responsibility. But that, that concept right there is not agreed on by most people. I don't care about the words for it. Yeah, and, and what's interesting is that a lot of people on the left are totally fine with that, that same argument being made about like Lauren Southern or Alex Jones or fucking Stefan Molyneux. But when we talk about Rittenhouse or Jacob Blake, or, or the, any of the, the fucking uh, misrepresented facts about any of the cases that were happening during the BLM riots, right? That were well, propped up and, and push, it pushes it pushes evidence for, for racism or like uh, injustice, right? Yeah, but the reason is it's not it's not a matter of hypocrisy. They just wouldn't agree on whether or not they, they, they disagree like materially on whether or not these things were problematic. I don't think that's true. What? No, yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think, I think, I think it's been demonstrated that at least, I'm not gonna say everybody, but some of these people ne never bothered to look into the case to figure out whether or not it's true that they do this, that they disagree, right? They saw someone being killed by the police, they, they jumped straight to their narrative uh, and started pushing it as evidence of racism, right? Without, without even bothering to check because they don't really give a fuck about whether or not, not it's evidence of racism. They're more interested in pushing the worldview. Well, for, for, I can, well, look, I, listen, if you just say some people that's so broad that, yeah, I probably have no choice. But uh, Vash and Hassan. Every large left content creator, every I, single 150% of them. I, yeah, the the young Listen, I think Vosh is racist as freak, but I still have when to admit that, Destiny, but, I, I still, but, but he still clearly obviously looked at the like at, at the, the, the evidence. No. Nope. He might disagree with you. If he but, did, then he wouldn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. He literally, he literally played the videos on his stream. He clearly, he he literally through, before commenting about the Red House stuff, he literally said he didn't watch a minute of the trial and he just read headlines. He literally said that. And for the Jacob Blake stuff, he clearly didn't read or do anything. He, he played, played one video, but like, Wait, yeah, of the trial. But I'm talking about of Kyle Rittenhouse, like of the actual incident in question. He clearly watched. He that, didn't. Right? He clearly didn't because when he argued about it with me on stream on that fateful day for my career, when he argued with me about it, he was saying shit like, didn't he turn around and fire people twenty yards away into the crowd and shit? He clearly didn't watch anything. Yeah, he, he clearly, but, I mean, Maybe yeah. in that initial conversation, but since then he has, right? I don't think so. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? He did care. watch it, though. Like, but I mean, based yeah, on Peace Coast's stance, we look at when the statement was made at the time. We don't care about what happened afterwards. But if he didn't get very moment when he's saying he that, all the false shit. That, sorry, but that, that has to be true. true. It, it can't be the case that we label the cast the same action with the same, uh, you know, possibility of causing violence, different things just because one happened to result in violence. I mean, everyone must agree with that. That you assess whether or not stochastic terrorism at the time, at of the course, time the yeah. statement's made. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like an incitement Otherwise, to yeah. violence, I don't think legally requires violence to happen, right? Well, if it, incitement's a bad, uh, I think but attempt is a better uh, one. I, you don't have to like have the it, actual thing take place. Okay, that's a step, right? you know. You, you would agree it requires intent, right? Like, like, that's it, what it, I think is important here too. And I think some of these definitions, and I'm sorry to say, including destinies, is missing. That I really th and now I, I would agree with him on this that there's a certain amount of malicious indifference or reckless indifference, which for all intents and purposes you can say is intentionality. I think that, that that's fine and that gets in some of the actors he wants to get in. But I think there needs to be a malicious actor here. And I think it needs to be uh, you know, a high threshold. You guys are talking about low bars where like, Everyone on this platform is a stochastic terrorist at different times. That's way oh. too low. It's got to be higher than that. There has to be some like, or maybe real it's a chance. reflection well, of where the political discussions are at today in society. Everybody's a racist. Everybody's a bigot. Well, once, we start, once we start, once we start, once we start making these yeah. words so incredibly vacuous that like yes. nothing can be really said for, it really doesn't accomplish anything, right? Like I was invested in the conversation originally, and you know how much I love my definitions, but then I realized like early on in the conversation, like, oh, this thing is so nebulous and so vacuous that it doesn't that it applies to literally everyone. So what the freak are we going to get out of the conversation anymore? I think there, there is, is more, that. There I'm, there not, is I'm not trying more to, concrete I'm not, definition. I'm not, I'm, not, I, I'm not trying to label people as 
stochastic terrorists, more so as I'm trying to call out stochastic terrorism. So I don't know if this seems like a distinction with, with or a distinction that isn't really in existence, but like, so for instance, like, I don't think it's worthwhile to say that like this person is a stochastic terrorist, but we can say that like this rhetoric or this communication or this message is a form of stochastic terrorism. I don't know if that right. amends it a little bit better or whatever. I'm not trying to like say like a person is wholly this thing, but just that this action is really bad. We need to understand that it's bad, or at least not necessarily it's bad. It's we need to understand what it is and we need to understand what it leads to so that we can have a better conversation around it. Because all of the, oh, who knew that could have possibly that. happened is dumb as fuck. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think, I think it's Destiny... Pretty, it's a pretty common thing, right? Where where the words and the way that we use them begin to expand in our culture, right? Like, it's just a thing that's occurring from... I mean, I, I guess you could say it's kind of the influence of dialectics in, in our culture, the, this idea of, like, you know, deconstructing things and then, like, synthesizing them. Um, you, you know, it, it I would say... A, almost certainly happens more with left-wing people, but right-wing people have, have kind of taken these same positions to things as well, right? And so I do think it's important, especially if we're gonna use terms that are loaded, right, to put them in strict confined boxes, right? And call out people that are using these terms um, loosely, right? Because because the way that the expansion of, of, of derogatory terms occur, uh, occurs online, I think is really getting into an area where we're, we're constantly in a need to create new definitions and new terms for things because the old terms and the old definitions become watered down to a, to a, to a point of meaninglessness, right? And, and at the same time, right, the words like terrorism, I think, become really... You know, and uh, certain certain derogatory terms can be really dangerous as they get watered because they're used as a means to dehumanize people, right? To take people's bad actions, right? And then label them as, as part of their identity, right? So it's no longer that Vivian said this shitty thing, right? And we should attack this shitty thing. It's now Vivian is a, is a terrorist. Right. Like, so once things I, become identifying factors, we have to be really careful about that. Listen, I watched a 12 hour ContraPoints video about this. OK, it's called essentialism. It's where you take a virtue of fucking somebody and then you make it a core component of their personality yes. so you can demonize them, call them a piece of shit and dismiss them and dehumanize them. We did it and in Iraq and Afghanistan the, with the term insurgent. Right. Right? We, we do so, it all so the time. If the compromise, so if the compromise is we can call out stochastic terrorism, but us as a panel of decent human beings will never call somebody a stochastic terrorist. We will say that they're engaging in stochastic violence, or uh, if they're being particularly nefarious, they're engaging in stochastic terrorism. I think that's a fair compromise. That right, destiny needs to get back so that we can train. I, I, I think after I this think is after the new start. term, boys, we're getting rid of the old term. We're creating a new term. Fuck, fuck it. Wait, wait, right. I missed it. I, I missed the term. What's the new pattern? Term? When somebody's doing Fantastic it so violence. many different times, they're Fantastic walking like violence. a duck, talking like but, a duck, yeah. and there's a continuous pattern of stochastic terrorism, I think it's totally fine to call them a stochastic terrorist. Yeah, I, I actually I agree with that. I think we clearly have to put a pattern How do you hold them That's kind of totally fine. Wait, no, 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 no. I, if like journalistic institutions like the New York Times and and and, and you know Washington Post no. have, have articles that don't include all the information, like if somebody like did like you know good faith research and they used those as sources, that's a great point. All the information, how do you hold them accountable for? Yeah, Dude, I, do, you, I, do, I, I made that point that several that. times. Right? No, 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 no. no, no. I think the did too. And I think, I think that's a great point from Revolt, which is, and you guys aren't going to like this answer. I don't think we should be calling the New York Times stochastic terrorists. Because oh, they got fact wrong. No, revolt <laughs> is literally what I'm saying. What I said yes, before, no, I which know. is it was a misdescription of it that affected. Right, part of the problem is we, we're lacking journalistic ethics anymore, and and a lot of the information that's out there is there for clickbait or for rage clicks instead of actually giving people good information. And it would be a lot easier if people say some bullshit. Right. And then people Google it and then they find a news article and the news article actually tells them what's going on. But instead, you have institutions like Fox News and CNN and MSNBC and The Guardian and all of these institutions have deep political biases where they intentionally omit tons of information that's relevant. Right. And then they spin narratives and then the information that they feel that they absolutely should put in, they put all the way at the bottom of the fucking article because it goes against the narrative that they're spinning in the first three paragraphs. Right? Let's just that, say they're that, in well, I, well, I hope people are not stupid enough to only read the fucking first line or the first. The overwhelming, read, read, no, listen, they literally, they the they overwhelming do. majority of people do not even read articles. They read just the headline. The headline. Is, no so a fucking prompt in before you could retweet something to say are you sure you want to read to this uh, reading it first like it's that big of a fucking problem like it is endemic like people will only read the headlines yes, just throughout always it's that bad yes
Which is why it's so fucking so, important that people like Vosh or other people on the platform don't end up engaging in that type of stochastic terrorism. That people I mean, like, like people, Vivian people, probably people, have these capacity done, and done, capability. We've done capability. We've done psychological. Position, sorry, my if, bad. I, didn't, I mean, I was, I got hype and I was interrupting. If, uh, if someone's going on a fucking panel and they're saying, "Hey, I know this shit. I know how to talk about this. I'm capable of talking about this specific topic with a bunch of other people and engaging in it," they have a lot more responsibility than the average individual. In that case, then yeah, if they're not going to engage in these types of fact, if they're going to have a pattern of conformity where they're constantly saying wrong shit about different cop cases and then they're backing it off afterwards like someone like Vosh, then yeah, they're a stochastic terrorist. They are engaging in stochastic terrorism. But, yeah, I think okay, you can I, say I that, wanna, but also, that, but also quick, that people quick, people who... Real people, quick, real, real no, quick. even even like quicker, super quick. even super even quicker, quick. even quicker. Yeah, people who who sometimes cross into the cross up like with the comments uh, that I pointed out in my like opening, right? Sometimes people cross into the line of stochastic terrorism, but that doesn't mean they're they're doing this all the time, right? So I, I pointed to like Destiny, Prime, Counter, and Fnatic, some of the most reasonable people that I that I've met on this platform, right? But awesome. yeah, sometimes I cross lines, sometimes I cross the line. Right? It doesn't mean we need to label this them as this all the time. There's some people who should be labeled as, as this because they have a pattern of doing this. Yeah, okay, that's I, why I that's why we consider quick. that's why oh, we consider oh, the extent and the frequency. Real I have quick. barely talked this fucking panel. I'm gonna yeah, get my go ahead, like, Gaffy, 30 please, seconds of the fucking talk, mm -hmm. all right? Um all the, right. the the extent and the frequency of which they're doing it is why we care about this shit, right? There's a difference between somebody saying, oh, uh, this person made a racist statement versus, oh, this person is a flat-out racist. I think we would all agree there's a difference there. And if somebody's continuing to have that pattern of making those types of racist statements when they're backing off, it might be a lot easier. The weight of the evidence might be able to say, yeah, that person is actually a racist. I don't know why we're so fucking scared of calling somebody a stochastic terrorist in fear that they might not be able to meet some sort of threshold just because we can't give a specific objective direct amount. Because we want I, I them explain, to come the, our I way. No, the I, explain of that. I explain that, right? Because you're talking about identifying people. Once you start lo stop looking at people as fellow human beings, right, or fellow citizens or fellow citizens of your nation, right, and you start giving them identifiers, exactly what counterpoints. That's ridiculous. About, essentialism. You start no, tying their behavior true. to the identity of the person. You start dehumanizing them. That's ridiculous. You, they're it's they're not still a person. It's, well, we're not dehumanizing them. We're saying they're they're that human. Not that's dehumanizing. That's we're like saying they're they're a human being. Who is doing a dumb I, fucking thing and we're pointing out the dumb fucking thing that they're doing. Okay, right, but so. guys, I have a super relevant point. So I'm going to talk to Vosh in the next 10 minutes whenever we get fucking dismissed. And so uh, do you think that I should say that sometimes it appears that he's engaged in stochastic violence or should I call him a stochastic terrorist? Because only that's obviously only he talks about what you see from what you believe in his extended only, no, okay, I would say yes. Only, I would say yes. My point is that the rhetoric that we choose to speak with people with is going to have a fucking impact. And if you're trying yes. to convince somebody to modify yeah. their behavior, then right. you need to treat them as a fucking it's, human being who's engaging in a negative behavior, not as a fucking evil person that you want to destroy. That's yeah. like... I, that should you be obvious. Well, after behavior, after and you after challenge certain... ideas. We are you don't challenge people and then identify them with monikers. Do you think it's okay to identify somebody as a racist we... if they continually say racist things and do racist things? But I mean, that's that's slightly different because nobody's expecting like a like a violent reaction from the state to solve the problem of a racist. They are expecting it to solve the problem of a terrorist, and that's the problem. Is like it, it's kind of like easing the weight of this word, you know what I mean? Like, and it's lightening it's the load that it has. But in when reality, it's conditioning people to think that like this is terrorism, and so that we should react with violence against I'll, it because that's the I'll right go, thing. I'll to go do. further and say that I think that large institutions are being infected enough with um, with ideologies that use terms like racism, bigotry, transphobia, and things of that nature as a means of dehumanizing people and as a means of um, attacking them. And I actually do fear both of those things as being a way that that, that 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 could occur because I see a frightening growth of terms like racism and Amazing. redefinition of those terms from like this Mercuse type of perspective of like this state is fucking God and like the, the idea of racism is now power and privilege and why, like there's, there's a lot of problems there. There, right, but so I actually don't you realize we've all been called racist so much that like now we don't even care anymore. So like the, the words lost its fucking lost its meaning. I mean, like, I think for I think for actual racists, the term racism has now become a, a badge of honor that means that I engage in the truth and I say the uncomfortable things that other people don't want to hear. And which, that's a big that, that is true exactly and is my fucking problem. sad. And that, look, we see these things happening all the time and from the same exact person. Like one of the, the conversations that I intend to have with Destiny, specifically specifically over his use of the word uh, racist, like 
basically, he, he he recently had a conversation with Lauren Southern, um, you know, in his normalized Nor Lauren Southern project. And he basically said that, like, a, a welfare, welfare would be racist because it actually benefits, like, any system that doesn't affect people equally would automatically be racist. So it's like, yeah, I, I think a lot of times I don't think he really cares about the words whatsoever. Um, uh -huh. e even, even when we do have words that clearly have a meaning, things that we're like, we should be using these words, like, they are weighted for a reason, and it seems like using them in this way palliates those words. Uh, he's referring to you, Destiny. I think uh, I think words, are, words, are, oh, words are 100 percent have that type of meaning. Uh, Des uh, 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 fanatic. Um, say what oh, you said. I, I, I'll repeat it. I basically said that, like, because they were talking about the fact that, like, you, you, this word being used in this way, like, it's part of just like. Uh, I wish someone could re re say it one more time. Uh, it, like it dehumanizes people and that like ultimately like uh like we've, we've we've been called people have been called not me but people have been called racist myself actually included now that i think about it so, <laughs> um we've that been true. called my racist fellow racists man times, hello right there we go we've been called racist enough times that like that word stop start, start, uh, stops yeah okay me. if you if you want to if you want to have like this discussion that like you, you calling it stochastic terrorist is like a bad Argument? I mean, like I've argued with Pisco for like twelve thousand hours that I hate the word terrorist. So I, I'll I'll buy that shirt one hundred percent. Yo, yo, you weren't <laughs> here. When, so so you're back from Vivian being a terrorist, or, you, or do you think that she no, fits oh, the Jesus definition? Jesus Christ! Still? Listen to what I just said. Okay, I said that if you want to find a term different than stochastic terrorism, that's yeah, fine. I just said that's the only here. one that I know that has that. So when you say, "Oh, then do you regret it?" I mean, if another term exists Destiny, that's said, then I'll here. use it for what? We were we were almost like, dude, maybe we should call it stochastic violence. We're ascending. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm just saying his piece is coming out. Yeah, yeah. A, a, sure. a moniker of sure. the Yeah, stochastic violence would be fine. And I'd be one hundred percent on board with that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so what's the what's the new word? Is it stochastic, stochastic violence? Stochastic violence. Yep. Engaging mm -hmm. in stochastic violence. Cringe. Okay. That's fine. Uh all right. Uh so Cringe. uh to my audience um we are going to continue on to the open walk on panel right after this right so we're gonna have more content for you uh, more content for you is coming on right after this now in that open walk on panel our friend vivian uh who's been talked about quite a bit is going to come on and defend herself uh so there's that also my friend uh joe the silly serious uh has lots of thoughts on what you guys have been saying uh <laughs> is going to come on and uh, uh speak on that as well um so if any of you want to engage in that uh you're certainly welcome to um but one way or the other uh hit that follow button right now make sure notifications are on so you know i'm going live we do this six nights a week you've been enjoying this content so far we do this all the time you're missing out on a ton so come on to this ch uh, channel prime kai right there yeah it's about that way right and um uh hit that follow button and uh make sure notifications are on also exclamation point social in my chat um for my social media uh, follow us on Twitter for channel updates. Uh, Discord, because we're going to have the open walk-on panel. It's going to happen right after this, right? And um, YouTube, that's where we uh, the VODs uh, sit, right? So if you've missed any part of this. Um, if you missed that Saturday conversation that started this conversation, well, then that's all on YouTube. Check out YouTube. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Also, we stream there on YouTube occasionally. Um, so, again... Uh, thank you all so much. Um, let's uh, we're gonna have the outro uh, to everyone. But after that, we're gonna go right into the open panel. Um, so you know, stick around for that. All right, let's go to uh, Pisco. Pisco, <laughs> I, I didn't think you're gonna put Desi on trial. I, I think it's gonna happen. So no, I'm sorry that like I kind of <laughs> no, it's uh, fine. usurped this um, opportunity to, you know. For my Cloud own farm. ends to continue. A, a, no, no, I mean this is not what I do for a living. I, I just, what I really want to continue the discussion with, with Destiny that's been put off. And he, and you know, it's an off good series. Like I think he's a good dude. I think um, it's fun to talk to Fabian. I feel like it was a bit, you know, rough with with them sometimes and interrupting them a lot. And so I apologize for that. Um, and yeah, so I had a good time. And, and thank you guys for for chilling. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Next, uh, fanatic. Um, also, uh, coming here with the hot takes, much uh, uh, appreciated as always. Fanatic, oh my god, dude, the fuck. Um, Fanatic, uh, thanks for coming through. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Um, I think this conversation was too rooted in opinion, and because it's so opinionated, and I really, really can't care less for people's thoughts, I wasn't able to go full fanatic mode because it's just like, ah, yeah, you think it, and I don't care what you think. Um, hopefully, the next time, you know, it'll be something that where I have some facts that I can lean to, so then I get to go ham. Uh, follow me twitch.tv slash Mr. Fanatic. Uh, listen to my music. Fanatic is the name F A N A T I Q. Um, I have the best ear on Twitch. Um, and yeah, you can watch me do requests. You ask me to play a song, and I will play it back for you as accurate as any other human being can do. Love to see it. All right. Next, 
uh, we have our VIP counterpoints, who uh, is always here, always uh, being a part of this, and he adds so much to our channel. Thank you so much. Uh, counterpoints, um, tell a little about yourself. Uh, my very sincere pleasure. My name is Connor. I run a YouTube channel named Counterpoints. I'm a science fiction, political, and philosophy nerd. I'm a Marine Corps and law enforcement veteran. I love debating politics. Uh, so this is my favorite way to spend my time. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is a fucking blast. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much. Gappy, newest individual, newest part of the crew. Uh, happy that you are around. Gappy, um, uh, thank you for coming on and uh, giving your, your perspective. Uh, tell a little about yourself. Yeah, uh, my name's Gappy, and from a percentage in terms of how much I said versus how much I said right, I said the most, per the highest percentage of correct shit on this panel, okay? Hey, to support the actual person who won this, uh, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash GappyV. Um, also, my YouTube channel, I need to hit a thousand subscribers on that same name so I can get monetized. Um, I do a lot of politics, do talk about a lot of other things, do a lot of games too. And uh, yeah, I think it's totally fine to call people statistic terrorists. Bye. All right. Uh, thanks for that. All right. Uh, next, uh, we have. Oh, no. uh, next, we have uh, Stephen Bunnell. Stephen, um, thanks for coming through and uh, picking up the good fight um, to thanks. clear your. Uh, I'm always here to fight. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but you know that the Gabby guy's been trolling you the whole time, right? What? The so the Gabby guy, or he does this to a troll. So Gabby started. Um, streaming the Metal Gear Solid games um, in preparation for Metal Gear Solid 5 to come out. And when Metal Gear Solid 5 come out, that's why his name Gappy 5. I don't know why he says you don't pronounce the V or whatever. It's, he's Gappy 5. That's his name. But, um, you fucking anyway, bitch. You my fucking name bitch. is Shut Destiny, and I like to argue about politics and shit. I'm on Twitch.tv slash Destiny and YouTube.com slash Destiny, so go there. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, let's go to uh, our Dark Lord and Savior, Doobie. Doobie, thank you for coming through. Um, and uh, coming up with that very interesting question. Um, so, Doobie, tell a little about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a Doobie. I help run the Politics of Run Discord, the best and biggest politics server on the platform. Discord.gg slash politics or politics.gg will get you there. And we, again, to be very clear, um, I think we all do a little stochastic violence sometimes, and I don't think it's a big deal. Okay. I love you guys. Okay. All right. Uh, Fabian. Fabian Liberty Scott. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you as well for coming through and uh, being <laughs> an ANCAP punching back for the panel. Uh, <laughs> the my about being an ANCAP is that I know that the entire panel will disagree with me. Uh, it's always fun. So it's always blood sports wherever I go. So uh, Fabian Liberty, I am Scott from Fabian Liberty. We're a duo stream. You can find us on YouTube, though that's really just a pet project of mine for the occasional random video. Um, on Twitch, we're Fabian Liberty. Um, my, Like I said, we're a duo streamer, so I have a co-host. Great guy. Um, Lucas wanted to apologize. His power cut out and his laptop wouldn't work. Uh, and he like completely got yeeted because uh, he's like in the process of moving. Uh, so sorry for Lucas. Um, yeah. So um, like I said, just follow us there. You know, I do a lot of debates. I do, you know, some news, uh, you know, reaction stuff. But I don't do like watching some other streamers content and then reacting or anything like that. Um, but we do occasional philosophy book reads and, you know, just fun stuff like that. So if anybody wants to debate me or anything or you know, come at me and tell me why ANCAPs aren't anarchists. Like, I'll fucking crush you any day. Have a good one. Um, um, Volt Rise uh, came in uh, as a uh, pinch hitter. Um, Volt yeah. Rise, thank you uh, for coming through. Thanks for having me. Um, as always, uh, it was a great pleasure. And uh, ANCAPs are not anarchists, and that is 100% true. And we'll debate you about that anytime you like. Um, and also, How about you check right us out. Now, right after All right, we'll do it on the after panel. We'll do it wherever you want to do it, wherever, wherever you're going. But uh, discord.gg slash switch politics, come hang out with us. We have a good time over there. Or Pro and Hendrix on Twitter for great takes. See you. So, um, uh, uh, Scott, 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 before you walk away from the computer. Um, yes, sir. Uh, our friend, are you familiar with my friend uh, Joe the Silly Serious? Silly Serious? Yeah, yeah. I I, I watch her uh, sometimes. Like, like uh, I lurk. She says that, uh, and this will happen to my channel. Um, uh, she says that she will debate you on virtue ethics and uh, voting. Uh, she has been freaking out in chat about <laughs> <laughs> everything that's come out of your mouth. So why uh, is it why is it that when anyone wants to hit me up for a debate, it's always a PhD candidate or a PhD? Like what? Well, like what's going on? Hey, like I just I'm, ended up debating a microbiologist PhD candidate on the vaccine and crushed his ass. I'm, yeah. Silly. Whoa, serious, did somebody say I vaccines? Oh, oh yeah. I uh, I will I will I will I would love to do that. That sounds that sounds awesome. Wait, what's okay. what was the vaccine position? 
that it mandates are immoral and that the vaccine oh, is God. Uh, dangerous. Wait, how is oh, the vaccine yeah. dangerous? Oh boy. I'm not getting into uh, that right now. Oh, oh. That's the oh, he's, done his research. he's done his research, surely. Uh, if you oh, yeah. want to... The ex bullet gave him a lot of... Sorry. If you want to continue that conversation, oh, I thought this was look, yeah. we're going to go into open panel right now. Right now. So if you want to come on and have a good time with us, oh, that's what we're going to... And Viv and Joe will be there uh, to talk about um, the points that you guys have made. Um, so if it interests any of you, uh, come on come on over. Uh, so we're doing that right now. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Uh, much appreciated. We're going to go to a walk on panel. Anyone here is welcome to join us. But if not, that's okay. Thanks for spending your time, your energy. It's a prime. Knowledge. Yeah. And uh, your passion uh, with us. I uh, much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye. See you later. See ya. That was pretty fun. That was fun. Uh, Doobie, you need to get in there way more, man. What are you doing? What? You're letting yourself get talked over way too much, Doobie. What are you doing? Look, I'm trying to be nice. Don't, don't, don't. All sad. right. Hey, uh, Revolt Rise. I, uh, yes, sir. I'm, hey, I, 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 don't mean to disappoint you. I don't mean to disappoint you, man, but I only have two master's degrees, so I fucking might not be the challenge you're expecting. Oh, no, it's okay. I didn't finish my master's degree. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just a lowly under. Oh, what was the term against stochastic violence? As we ascend, yeah, yeah, dude, we we a new thing. Let's okay. let's go stochastic violence. Let's go. Uh, if you want to hop into my Discord, you can. If you want to debate on uh, anarcho capitalism as anarchism, I'll sure. Are you sticking around? Fuck, that sounds so boring. Never mind. There is right now. Uh, well, she said she wanted to debate me. I thought I thought he meant like a one on one thing. Does he mean like Yo, right now? Yeah, I think she's coming on right you now. Gotta join, you have to join the walk on, bro. I'm not going on there. Where is the I'm what gonna, is the walk on? I, bro? I can't go. Okay, um, so Vivian Vivian it, it, told Prime Vivian told Prime that she'll only go on the walk on if I'm not there. Okay. Oh, wow. So so okay. some of you so, need to go on there and yell at her for me. Yes, he has to go. It's it's in Thousand Sunny. That's where it'll it'll end up being. I think you. Probably oh, hello. Um, hello. How's hey, going, everybody. Guys? If you have a camera, uh, mm -hmm. please turn it on uh, because that would be quite useful. Um, hmm, okay. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, uh, this won't destroy my fucking computer. Uh, oh, okay. So, well, my. Uh, oh, God damn, Everything's off. Like I said before, um, my computer um, blew itself up the other day. And. Oh, Fucking hell! Wrong camera. Why is this? Ah! <laughs> Wait, is that a never before seen prime uh, camera yeah. angle? Yeah. All right. Um. So uh, we're gonna jump into this. <laughs> um. I'm glad you guys are all here. Um. Hopefully, Joe will. Uh, un. She's trying to figure out her stream. Uh. She'll she'll be back soon. Okay. Great. Thanks for uh, uh that. Um. Give me one second, guys. I just, my fucking visuals are all fucked up. Again, apologies. I set this laptop up seconds before I, uh, I jumped on here. And why is this not, oh, that's wrong one. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me shrink this. I go off. Uh-huh, let's, uh, fit the screen. I apologize, everyone. Uh, give me a moment. Get the screen and we'll make it a little bit. Um, okay, I'm waiting for Moody Moody to jump on so that we can have a good time. It's okay. There. Apologies. Apologies, everyone. Uh, it's just, it's been a really, <laughs> it's been a fuck of a day. Mr. Fanatic, you're in chat. You say you have perfect pitch? Really? Tell me what notes these are, okay? Ready? Go. Tell me. Wait. Wait, hold on. I'll give you one more chance. These ones. Tell me what chord that is. I'll even play it multiple times for you. Tell me. That's right. You ain't got shit. Q. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh Just, sorry. Yeah. All right, thank you, uh, other people. Uh, Destiny, um, thank you, um, a problematic pan. Uh, some guy with the face there. I don't, I don't know your face. Um, it's fine. Um, Zonia, um, Savitar, uh, Mixivian Wolf is here. Uh, uh, Mixivian Wolf, I'll give you a first go because a lot of things were said about you. So uh, go ahead and um, uh, say stuff. I mean, I didn't really 
watched the whole panel. I only came in after I got a message from uh, from you actually saying that I was being talked about a lot. And it did seem like I got like super baked into the conversation. <laughs> like it's just like Vivian the stochastic terrorist. I mean, first off, I think we're kind of using like I, like I haven't heard academics use the term stochastic terrorist as in calling somebody a stochastic terrorist. Stochastic terrorism is more sort of a concept of like, um, you know, for like lone wolf attacks and so on, is saying that this is an incidence of stochastic terrorism, that it's impossible to sort of blame any kind of hierarchical structure or individual, but we can blame um, basically a narrative that is being being pushed in general that is likely to cause violence even though you might not be able to predict how who where whatever right that's that's the general idea around stochastic terrorism um i that's me being picky though if you want to like use it in a colloquial sense to say that somebody is like responsible for stochastic terrorism by contributing to one of those narratives uh that's fine i think um i think you know it would I would probably only use that term if I was talking about, like, literal, um, like, actual terrorist attacks, right? Rather than sort of, like, just general violence, rioting. Because by saying somebody is a, st a stochastic terrorist, you're saying that all rioters are terrorists, right? If you're saying they're responsible for the riots and the violence that goes on there. I like how Vivian proves what I told that, like, Pisco. The rioters, <laughs> at least the rioters that engage in violence there are terrorists. And I think we end up um, with a very sort of vague fucking definition of terrorist that I would not use, and a vague sort of definition of like who is a stochastic terrorist that seems kind of fucking nonsensical. Um, I think it's much more useful rather than like essentializing to get to the core of the um the accusation really which is like does your rhetoric um encourage unjustified violence right like i think that would be the that would be the accusation really the the core of it that's actually a a sensible moral critique joe uh you had uh thoughts so you know, here's a space to express them. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Vivian a lot. Obviously, one thing that I completely disagree with Pisco on is the idea that it's not useful post hoc. I think it's the only time it's useful. I don't think it's particularly useful calling individual people stochastic terrorists, largely because uh, one of the best things about stochastic terrorism is silence, deniability, the ability to sort of dog whistle and say things and create an entire world view that suggests a certain logic um, without ever necessarily explicitly calling for violence. And once you start trying to pinpoint these acts uh, and put them on individuals, you really put a lot of political speech in jeopardy at large because ultimately um that's all political speech there are going to be people who have violent reactions and as we get to like i, I disagree with is fabian still here though no fabian um said that um that the way to deal with this is to fact check and to have like the answers out there and that's just not correct because these okay have these people don't even have cameras on so i'm not showing your cameras get fucked okay. destroys the entire yeah. architecture of truth the idea that there could be a true claim so anyone's just going to say well that's that's not the facts that I have. That's not the information that I have. Those people are biased. This isn't real. Like you, you can't defeat post truth with truth. Unfortunately, it does have to be a, a democracy type of thing. I'm just gonna quit out and come back because my internet's fucked. Give me one sec. Sure. What a, um, what a right. dodge! Wow. So I know. Apparently, Absolute coward. <laughs> what a fucking coward, dude. Anyway. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people said shit about me, so I just I I don't really know what the specific accusations are. I only sort of like saw the end of the panel. So if if anybody has any specific accusations that they want to level at me, I'd be happy to field them. Uh, is it possible that some rioters could also be considered terrorists if they're rioting for political reasons? I think that when Obviously. we use terrorist, uh, I think that the word terrorist is essentially a political label for like political violence that we don't like, right? Um, it's it's a very ill-defined word, much the same as the word cult. It's like new religious movement that is a that is somehow controlling and abusive that we don't like, right? It's a derogatory label, 
uh, the old one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist kind of thing. And I think we have to be kind of careful about the way in which we apply these Ooh. labels um, and and how the people oh that we label already terrorists will be sort of perceived by society. And I think if we oh. loosen the term terrorist to mean not somebody going and bombing a place or like shooting up a place or like um, deliberately assaulting somebody uh, for... Yeah, I just don't... I I don't think we should like loosen it that that much because then you can just call everybody a terrorist they're, they're and already loose terms they're already loose terms so i think what would be better if we use the academic definitions of these words rather than just the colloquial definitions of these I, words well that's why i was saying there's not a good there's not a good academic definition of the word terrorism there is i think um, the uh, un has a good definition of uh terrorism where it's uh, yeah, not non-state actors targeting civilian and or non-combatant forces for political religious or philosophical reasons Right, but I mean that could, I, this that could mean everything from like fucking blowing something up to like canceling somebody on Twitter. Like I just had a fucking argument with Supreme where he's like, um, terrorism is like it's about the fear that it puts in people or whatever, right? And and I'm like, well, people fear for their life, uh, fear for their personal safety when you when you protest outside of Parliament, for example, or. I don't know a governor's building, whatever the fuck you have in your stupid country. I think that but there's like, like there's like a million different ways. Outside, there's like a million um, different ways to define terrorism. I don't think it's, it's worth like art because you yeah, can have this argument online. And then and there's yeah, a million different definitions for agree. terrorism. We can say that like the UN has a definition for terrorism, sure, but every single individual nation has definitions for terrorism. And even within those nations, yeah. their different intelligence agencies will have different definitions of terrorism. The CIA defines it differently. The FBI has a definition for domestic, and it's this is not worth this discussing. I don't think. I think that the more important thing, the, the thing that should be focused on. So this is my main critique of Vivian, or and and other critiques can be brought in here for any other persons is that like when you are giving a message rhetorically over and over and over again and you're trying to say that there is no other way to ameliorate a, situa a situation beyond violence that there's no other way um, especially if that isn't true th then you're engaging in what fill in the blank for whatever you want to call st stochastic terrorism we need to understand so that that's I, going to be what, an outcome when have, I, when have I done that so when you hold on so do you believe what? that you can vote in the United States to effectively bring about police change um, I think probably, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, never mind. I guess it sounds like you... So you think that we can achieve most of the systemic change that we need to with the police force and everything through voting? I think it I think it would be very difficult and take a long time, but I think ultimately you could. Yeah, I can see that as plausible. Okay, cool. Based. All right, never mind, Vivian. Well, I'm glad that you've Destiny. changed. No, so I think well, there's... I haven't changed there, my there's opinion. A there's, there's a difference. Uh, there's a uh, Vivian, go ahead. I haven't changed my opinion at all. Like, I, I don't know what... So am I not a stochastic terrorist? No? Do you still think that um, it's okay if there are conservatives coming into your town that you can oppose them to uh, protest, that you can oppose them under threat of murder or kill, I guess? I I I would not say under threat of murder. You shouldn't threaten to murder anybody. Let's say that um, there are conservatives coming to your town to protest. Do you think you have a right yeah. to prevent them from protesting with violent means, violence extending up to killing people? Uh, I think it depends on the nature of the conservative protest. Let's generally. say that a Blue Lives Matter or a Thin Blue Line protest wanted to come to your town. Do you think that you have a right to stand there with firearms and say, you're not allowed to protest here. If you come in, we're going to push you out up to using uh, lethal means? Um, I think you should only ever use lethal means if you're worried about lethal uh, lethal force being used against you. So do you think that they should be allowed to? Thing. So uh, let's say that I, they bring, I, let's say that they bring yeah, weapons to. Just, I'm sorry. Hold on. This language you're saying is so long because Vivian doesn't want to own the obvious conclusion, right? So let's yeah, say that they does. show no, up. No, I know and the let's obvious say, conclusion. Yeah. So the obvious conclusion is let's say I some protesters. The, I disagree with the framing. You if disagree that blue is, lives matter or thin what, blue lives protesters can show up with firearms? You disagree with that framing that that's possible? If what you're saying is that your um, your prescription could eventually lead to somebody being killed. Right? No, 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 no. That's I, not what I'm saying. I, I, what I'm asking is if you, if, is if it's inevitable in your world. So I, no, I'm, I don't think it is inevitable. So I think if try a, and avoid it as much as possible. If a blue lives matter or thin blue lives protest wanted to show up to a particular city, you think that it would be okay to resist them, to resist just them protesting with with a violent show of force, and that if they bring firearms as well, then you have a right to escalate up to killing them I to mean, prevent them you from should protesting. Start with you should start with non-violence and only react with as much violence as being uh, is the what as is much the violence. You're, you're, okay, to be clear, you're not you. reacting though. You are acting. You're the aggressor in that situation. Pro unless you're saying I mean, if you just 
if you're blockading a road or telling somebody to fucking leave, right? This isn't. This isn't like. So what if they try to walk? What if they? What if they try to? What if they? What if they try to? What if they try to walk around you? Stay and think. Stay in their way. Or what if they come put out your dumpster fire? No, no, no. Wait, hold on. No. Wait. What if? What if? So you're. If they get to the point where they're trying to right. walk through a public street and you're pushing them, you're blocking them, right? Who's the aggressor? Just block there? their path. So who's the aggressor there? Yeah, but you're the aggressor then. That's. I mean, you can. It doesn't matter who's the fucking aggressor. It absolutely that's matters. That's not it, because violence. You're, you're, it's not. So if somebody's it's trying. Violence. If somebody's trying to walk down the street and you get in front of them and you block and you them and they stand in front. Yeah, of and them, they try to go around and they can't get violence. through. So you don't think it is? You don't think that's violence at all? I, I mean, I guess depending on the Wait, situation, she said it was you violence. Could probably bring up some no, no. kind of hypothetical in which, like, stop, hold on, stop, Vivian, stop being, Vivian, please stop being such a fucking piece of shit. Okay. Wait, hold on, Destiny. I think she said it. No, 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 wait. She agreed with you. She didn't agree with you. She said it was violence, but no, she's saying she's no, no. She's trying to say like in some absurd, crazy, hypothetical world, we're talking about very realistic example. Somebody's walking the street, you step in front of them, you say, "You're not going to get past me." Okay, you're not going to get past me. So they try to go around, you step in front of them again. You don't think that's a form of violence? You don't think it's like a direct confrontation? I. Yeah, okay. literally protecting your okay. property. They're like, okay, I'm not doing this. She's. <laughs> I, I can't argue with people like this. They're driving crazy. <clears throat> All right, no more politics. I'm playing league. Sorry, I, these people make me want to video game myself. I, I, I actually can't do it. It just, it, I'll get banned on this platform. I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs>